Okay, audio check, quick check. Another check.
Hello. Good morning. Hope everyone is doing well today. I finally fixed my ISO on the camera. The white balance is a little bit better now. I mean, it, is, it does look a little bit washed out because, like, the lights back here are white. I almost knocked the Pikachu down. Oh, thank you for redeeming Caspian. I'll sing a song in a second for you, hun. But thank you for everybody who chatted in the Just Starting Soon screen, so thank you guys. Um, rules are simple for today. We're doing Fall Guys, but as we said yesterday, the Wednesday song is going to be replaced with Fall Guys until I get sick of it. But honestly, I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed. Um, every single solo crown win I get, I will give Chad a sub. Also, donation incentives are enabled for today's stream. Um, I have to find a song to sing, so hold for a second, chatters. Oh, fuck. I opened, <laughs> I opened TikTok by accident. Fuck it. <laughs> um, there was a song I was looking at that I wanted to sing. I don't know. Oh, wait. I think it was one of the... Nah, I'm still learning, like, some of the Dawn FM songs by the weekend, but I think they are still a little bit too difficult for me. Hey, hold chatters. I'm not a phone streamer. Not a phone streamer. I kind of want to do a set it off song. It's no problem. So we all have lives. Like you know, you. I think you went out and touched grass, right? You went on a trip, yeah. Okay, I kind of want to do tomorrow by set it off. I've been practicing this one. Oh, wait, chatters. Before I do that, I gotta set up my sub goal. I fucking forgot. Okay, sub goal for today. We're at 42 subs. I didn't fall off for full today's gonna be 50. <laughs> full do nothing vacation. But that sounds pretty good though, you know? Am I a Bayonetta fan? No, but my sister is. Okay, we're turning off Fall Guys music though. We can fully focus on the song. So chatters, if you don't know what we're doing, chatters can use their channel points to make me sing a song. I'm gonna go ahead and link all the previous singing clips in the chat room. Um... While I'm singing, if you guys could put your favorite hype or your favorite animated emotes in the chat room, I would appreciate that. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to try and sing the final verse for Tomorrow by Seta Off. <clears throat> okay, you guys ready? Dude, my arms look so big today. It's all muscle, baby. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I've been obsessed in search of success. Been blinded by the light. Sometimes you are the spider. Sometimes you are the flying towards the sky. Our starting line. Cause we've got tomorrow. Where the page is in the wind, we've got tomorrow. Where the tale that lies within, there's always another day, another night. A bittersweet blessing in disguise tomorrow. We're the authors of our lives tomorrow. Yeah, whoa, baby. That's one way to start off the stream. Am I right, chatters? Okay. I kind of almost yell because I I'm I'm lucky I'm in annoyed but I'm kind of pissy today. Not okay, honestly nothing happened to make me pissy, but that I feel like set it off's duality album is a nice album that you can like sing yell to. So I got a few bangers on that one. <laughs> okay, well thank you Caspian for redeeming that. If chatters want me to sing another song today, we do have to hit our fuck. We do have to hit our sub goal. Set it off is good. Yeah, I fucking love set it off. <laughs> I will self-report a little bit. I found set it off through in a Hayaku, a Hayaku, the anime, the volleyball anime, an AMV. <laughs> so, I'm self-reporting. Okay, chatters, let's go to start playing the fucking game. As you can see up top here, for anybody who subs, cheers, or donates, it'll make respawn or jump off the level. Um... Last thing, gentle reminder, asterisk for any slime levels where I have to jump on the stage in like a DED, it's a higher incentive. So keep in mind, those are incentives for today up top here. Um, love the gold frames. Yeah, I remember to turn on the light today. Let's go. Okay, let's get started. Um, 
there, the, I think if we're gonna try two different game modes today, we can do regular solos, and then they have this special game mode where it's essentially solos, but it's only three or four levels, but they're some of the more difficult stages. But you get two crowns. So we can also try that game mode today, too. Um, we're not doing duos, we're not doing squads, because I think I think squads is fucking boring. How long have I been playing Fall Guys? Is 51 levels good? Um, I played since the free-to-play launch, so about two weeks, yeah? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't have many hours. I think I- wait, I can actually check later. I think I have like- I think probably 15 hours at this point? Okay, we're gonna be doing predictions every round. You guys know the drill, chatters. Wait, is this regular solos? Fuck, this is the hard solos. Hey, chatters. Prediction is up. Go Gamba, go Gamba. <laughs> I'm just stunned. Is 51 levels actually good? I don't know. Okay, I I hate this level because motherfuckers will intentionally break the ice. I think the best strat... Oh no, it cracks faster. Is to stay in the center and pray to god that nothing hits you. Oh fuck, there's three. Shit! Oh fuck! Ah! I lived. I hate this one. It, it's so difficult. I have to fix the overlay here, so give me a second. That one is insane. That one is quick. I didn't even try that time. <laughs> okay, I have kind of figured out the strat for this level, but I'm still kind of iffy on it. Like, I saw this one video and it was saying like, you have to like run towards the rotating poles and just cross your fingers so that they don't like overlap. But Chatter's next prediction is up. Do you think I will pass this around? Go Gamba? Today's a really good for predictions, because honestly, it's a toss-up. <clears throat> Thank you for clipping, I appreciate it, Issa. I think the better strat is to run away from it, that way you can control when you jump. It's a lot easier to control when you jump. Oh! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I almost ran <laughs> down the center! <laughs> Oopsie! I literally can't see anything. Oh, that was easy. Easy clap? I'm fucking good at this game, aren't I? Maybe we can get a dub on our first run. That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, chat. New prediction is up. Oh, okay. I hate this one. Because this one, if you get stuck behind a block, you're screwed. You're actually screwed. <laughs> I was playing with my sister last night, and she, <laughs> she died so many times on this level. It's funny. <clears throat> Oh, only four people need to be kicked. Okay. I think if I pass this one, then it'll be the final round. Oh my god, fuck off, fuck off! Screw the grabbers. Bad touch. Hi, Butler. Welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today. Hi, Sinisters. Hope we're doing well today, on. Let's get all the crowns. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good so far. First game, we got to the third round. I'm doing alright. Okay, nobody's gotten kicked yet, fuck. How has nobody got- how has nobody died yet? Hi, Giorgio, no problem. We appreciate the lurkers. But thank you for hanging out with us. Hi, Woobsaris. Ah, it's okay. Notifications on Twitch are kind of sus. The way that I- Oh, the way that I understand how they work is that sometimes they take an, up to an hour to, like, roll out. 
So even if I go live at exactly 11, some people don't get the notification till like noon. It kind of sucks. How has nobody died yet? Honestly, it might be me. Fuck! Saved? Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got 30 seconds? Oh, no. Ah! Hi, Titans. Yeah, you have no points, Omega Lol. But hi, welcome to stream. God damn it, I was doing so good. Sad, you didn't have any doubters. Doubters would have eaten good. Hi, Crystal. Welcome to stream. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, Mikey, you have to tell me what color you want, you goop. Damn. I did I did pretty good for our first game of the day though. That was pretty decent in my opinion. Um I think there's a command for uptime, right? Uptime. Yeah, I've been live for 16 minutes. Is smile meta a thing? Kind of, but it's not popping off as much. <laughs> Okay, chatters, next prediction is up, go Gamba. My goal is to at least get the one crown. One crown is all I want. Oh, wait, chatters, chatters. It is still Prime Day. Meaning, you can sub for free with Prime, or Twitch is still offering that $100 gift card for 20% off, I think, till the end of today. And that's exclusive to Prime members only. So imagine. You spend 80 bucks, do you get $100? Crazy. I know I bought that gift card yesterday and I gifted my friend five subs yesterday. I felt like such an oiler. Anyway, <laughs> that's, that's the only plug I'll do. Only plug. Not sponsored, but I wish I was. Time to get my channel points back from yesterday. I know. You, okay, honestly, Kristen, you literally wasted them. You actually threw them in the trash. For a silly gag that yes, it was funny, but you know. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh, dude, I hate these people. I hate them. Oh my god. Ah! I hate that stage. It's it's literally so unpredictable. Well, who doubted? Who put one point in doubt? Mikey? Fuck you, Mikey. <laughs> Enjoy your points. Skill issue? No! That was full RNG. Did you not see the people running around the stage? Okay, let's go again. Chatters, let's go again. New prediction is up. Do you think I'll make it past the first round? Yes, I did take a massive L in that previous round, but you know what? That does not count. It was a stage. Fully was a stage. Not my fault. <clears throat> Aw, there's no problem, Deacon. You know, we all gotta take care of ourselves, so... You don't gotta be here every day, but I appreciate you coming in. Hope you feel better, man. Praying for a W someday? No, we're, we're gonna get a W today. W streamer only, okay? You're 6k away? Well, maybe you can make it all today with the predictions. Maybe. I almost clicked V and exited the match by accident. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Again! Oh wait, there's triple, okay. One sub equals one prayer. <laughs> oh my god, I lived, I lived, I lived. <laughs> Wasn't that like a pay money webby stream? Cause I think um, he got COVID, it was like a month ago. 
And he's like, one so, but you one prey. <laughs> it was good, it was a good bit. And he got like so many fucking subs. It was crazy. You won during the... I, I got so close to winning at the difficult... What is the game? I don't know what the game mode is called. Okay, this one is easy. As long as the rhino does not target you, you are saved. Hey chat, new predictions up, Gamba. Okay, the left rhino always opens first. So I find the best strategy is to run along the edge, and then if it targets you, you just bounce on a lily pad. Because once it targets you, you're basically fucked. There's nothing you can really do. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, it got me that time. Well, that was awkward. Oh, I got a pattern. Um, does the speed boost actually make me faster? Making me throwing today? No, I'm not. I, I didn't warm up today. I'm warming up, guys. Give me like uh, three hours and I'll have it down. I think I've only lost that rhino stage like twice and I've played it ten times. Like, I know what to do. It's just, if the rhino targets you, you're fucked. You're actually D.E.D. <laughs> Three hours, y'all. <laughs> nah, it, it'll probably take me like ten more minutes to like actually warm up. Hey chatters, new prediction is up. Go Gamba. Fuck it. I came back to another L. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, it's a full solo show. Fuck. Okay, we're not doing the difficult stages. We're doing normie shit now. Oh, easy. This one is easy. It'd be embarrassing if I didn't qualify for this one. Oh yeah, I heard that strategy too, Woof. I need to practice that one. But like, honestly, I'm not good with the bouncy pads in general in the game, because I feel like I lose so much control with how I jump. But like I said, I just need to practice it. Skip, guys! That was insane! The distance on that jump? Holy shit! Oh, come on! I want top 10, baby! Oh, no, wait, no way. No way, no way. Okay, 15th is still pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. Finally, a W. Finally. I keep instinctively, like, putting my finger on the B button because I automatically think I'm gonna lose, right? You're making safe bets today, so what are you betting on? Believe or doubt? Hmm? Always bet 69. Sure, that's a good funny number. <clears throat> I guess we'll find out. Okay. I got you. 
I mean, big brain strat would be to to donate. That way I lose. Five head. Did I get the pie? No. She's working on it. <coughs> Sag. <laughs> Clueless. <laughs> no, because wasn't it last week where I think Emmy cheered 100 bits and it actually made me lose? Because I fell behind. Yeah, everybody is just unaware of my massive skill. I am secretly a pro player who is intentionally losing to appear normal. Oh my god, I'm stuck! I lived, I made it, I made it. That was way too close. I messed up one time, but you know, we made it. Whew. That's the one thing I love about Fall Guys, is like, you can be watching the whole time and it feels like you're so invested in it. Go faster, I literally can't dash. Would it be crazy if there was like a dash mechanic in the game? <laughs> I almost cried, um. Why? <laughs> Okay, chat, next prediction is up. Do you think I'll make it past the third round? Let's see what it is. <laughs> Let's say what it is. Oh no, I have I've I haven't played this level at all. I haven't played this level for literally like two years. Fuck. 100 percent doubt, honestly, valid. Any believers mod check? Oh, okay. We have one believer, thank God. <laughs> Do the hoops despawn after somebody jumps in them? Oh, they stay! Okay, no, they despawn! Oh, no. What the fuck? What's up, mate? Okay, they do despawn. Oh no! No! Okay, this is. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Please give me a hoop! Okay, that's one. One for the books. No, oh, give it to me! Actually, how are we supposed to get this one? Hi, Aslan, welcome to stream. Oh, you can move these? No! Oh! I almost had it! They got it, fuck. steal it from him but <laughs> I was too quick or they were too quick okay it feels like everybody else is sucking at this level too so it's not just me <gasps> nope that's not it 
Oh, they pushed me. Okay, I honestly feel like I have a chance because I think everybody else sucks at this level too. way too long. Oh, someone got it right there. No, come on! I'm getting so close! You just have to, like, try and yoink the ranks from other people. Oh my god, stop pushing me. I hate them, I hate them. Yes! I stole it from him, that motherfucker! <laughs> okay, this level's going on seriously way too long. One more slot, I don't know. Oh my god! Thank you for the gifted tier one! I appreciate that, Crystal. Toxic? No, I'm not being toxic. But thank you, Crystal. Um, well, I lost anyway, so next stage I'll fall off for you, okay, hun? But, Crystal, since that's your first gifted, you're gonna get your name written in the sub-journal. Okay, let's get out of here, let's get out of here. There, there was no shot I was gonna win that one, literally no way. Okay. Yeah, it, that's the... It is cute. Um, anytime someone receives a gifted and if they give a gifted back, that little prompt will come up. It's nice. It's awesome. <clears throat> okay, let's try again. I hate how long the stage went for. What happens if you rage quit? What happens if you leave a stage halfway through? Like, do you get banned? Oh, you lose the rewards, that's right. That's what happens. I think you lose if you leave. Well, okay, the only time I would lose a stage, or the only time I would leave a stage is if I'm guaranteed to lose. Okay. So, since Crystal gifted, I have to immediately jump off the stage, which means I just me immediately die. So, there there's literally no way I can win, because Crystal donated. Fuck. <laughs> so th there's literally no way I win. So, chatters, if you're gonna gamble, okay, if, if you believe you're actually brain dead, I, I look, I immediately have the DED. Thank you, Crystal, for gifting. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Who but believe? <laughs> Which brain dead chatter but believe? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it was only 100 points. 100 points isn't much. So, they are probably doing it to be funny. Actually, who did it? Uh, wait, I can't see who did it. Fuck. Because the way the predictions work, you can only see who receives the points. You can't see who lost points, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, let's go again, chatters. Again, new prediction is up. Oh, it's a f it's a regular solo match. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, hun. I'm sorry, Cole. Oh no. <laughs> well, you'll get those hundred points back quick. I promise you. Cause I think you get a hundred points every hour. So I didn't know. <laughs> I'll win this one just for you. I'll win it just for you. <clears throat> Even though this is definitely- I think this is like the most difficult jungle stage for me. Because one, it's literally all lily pads. Okay. I'm gonna fully concentrate so nobody distract me, okay? Oh, 
What? There's pools now? Oh, no. How is there pools in the first iteration of this fucking track? Oh, no. Guys, I'm literally so far behind. Okay, I guess the strat is to stay near the outside edge. Oh, damn it. I made it on this part, okay. Oh, I shouldn't have dived. Dude, how did somebody beat the stage already? They're correct. Dude, I can never make the jump! Oh, there we go, there we go. Finally. No, I. <laughs> I hate my lack of depth perception. Shatters. I need new glasses. I mean, no, seriously, I need new glasses in like a month. So I'm saving up for that right now. But then I'm also like, if I have to get new glasses, then I I lose these frames because no fucking way. Because they don't sell these frames anymore. Okay, literally no way I win. Literally no way I win. Unless everybody who is stream sniping just stops moving and then I, they wait for me. <laughs> Good day to doubt. True, I guess. Any jungle stage, I'm not good at because they don't spawn very often, so I don't have a lot of time to practice them. I think they're like it was last week they had a game mode where it was just jungle level, so I practiced them a little bit. <laughs> Stop talking about your bad vision and start paying attention to the game, SMH. True. True. You put one and you got 943? Oh no. Well, what is that? Like a 9,000% 9, markup? That's insane. Wait, Chatters, you do know I had a fat-ass splinter in my thumb the other day, so... Okay, granted, my thumb does not hurt anymore. It's fully healed, but still, we can blame that if I'm absolute trash today. You got 47? Oh, I don't know how the percentages work. <laughs> Okay, new predictions up, go Gamba. Don't know wall, what did I miss something? <laughs> you know how the incentive is it the incentive is if I win, I give chat a sub? What if I'm throwing on purpose? Hmm? Maybe that's it. No, I would never do that. I'm genuinely trying. I would never lose on purpose. <laughs> Probs. <laughs> no, I promise you, I'm not throwing on purpose. That'd be mean. Yeah, if I was losing on purpose, would I actually tell you guys? Like, I don't think I'd ever self-report. There was only one time I lost on purpose, and I think it was during a Mario Kart challenge run where I literally... I think it was a no-breaking one run. I didn't break at all for like two hours straight, and then I lost on purpose. At the end, because I felt bad. <laughs> and you're not mean at all, explain this. Um, all my emotes are parodies. I do not condone any actions that they may portray, i.e. the peace I two punch. <laughs> Wait, you know what trigger I saw? Look! Wait, look! Watch! Look at that! Isn't that cool? It launches you. Imagine 
imagine doubting on r round one, guys, honestly. <laughs> huh? What the fuck, Mikey? Huh? Weird jump? Oh, because the piece I do punch, I was like, why the fucking wife beater joke? Okay, I get it now. I was like, huh? <laughs> what? Okay, anyway, chowders go gamba. <laughs> I mean, I am wearing a tank top today. Not a white tank top, but a black one. Okay, Chatters, let's let's not dive into the wife reader joke. Let, let's stop it there. Let's not go further. <laughs> we have 2% belief? Kind of cringe. Oh my god, amazing spawn point. Holy shit. This was a great spawn point. Okay, they're all gone. I'm waiting. I'm holding. Yeah, I'm doing great so far. I had like a really good spawn point. Two more, two more, easy. Hey, yeah, let's go! This level's easy as long as you keep like looking around the stage looking for more bubbles, so easy. Doubter suffered a loss today? Yeah, you know. I have my L's. But I get pretty good W's sometimes. You're gonna sue me for all my channel points? Under what merit? What have I done to scam the chatters? I don't think there's ever been a time where I've chosen the wrong option for a prediction. The only thing you could maybe get me for is losing on purpose, which I do not do. So nice try, chatter. <laughs> oh, it's this one again. Do you think I can pass this time? I think I can do it. I know what to do now. Yeah, you almost got me yesterday, Titans. You are right. <laughs> one mentral. Okay, chatters, next prediction is up. Go Gamba. I believe her aware. <laughs> no, I would never- no, I, I will never lose on purpose unless somebody makes me lose, i.e. donation incentives. Otherwise, I will try my best. <clears throat> Get ready to go to the right. Because rhinos always spawn from the left. I'm not gonna try for the lily pad strat- oh, I have to just survive. Okay, there's no minimum elimination. I might have to pull up my super secret move. Oh no. Please don't! Shit, so many people are dying. I mean, in a video game. Oh fuck! 
There was one time I did a rhino level and there was literally only three other people left besides me. It was crazy. Ah! Oh my god, mythological? No, that's not myth. <laughs> it's spelled wrong. Damn. Man, we had two chatters willing to give me money if I won that round. Fuck me. <laughs> no, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Don't feel inclined to donate, but today is the day in which you should do it. Honestly. Because it actually means something. God damn it. Never mind, I guess. Fuck. God damn it. Okay, Chatter says, I have a question. Did anybody actually redeem that Prime gift card yesterday? Because if you did, you guys should tweet at Twitch and tell them I told you to buy it. My secret is child labor. <laughs> no, no. Chatters, Deacon has a job. <laughs> <laughs> Rhino level equals three points, maybe. Yeah, I think I get my Twitch payout probably on Friday. Because it's going to process tomorrow. <clears throat> My god, stop! They're running into me! Actually, stop! How has nobody gotten kicked yet? Honestly. Hog. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Damn! Damn, damn, damn. Are you actually quitting your job or are you trolling, Mikey? Because I stopped working last summer, back last year in June. And like, my mental health is so much better, but also I have no money, so... Your mom makes hearing aids? You wanna give one to me because I'm fucking deaf? <laughs> okay, chatters go camp. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying, Mike. Yeah, like, obviously, that's not safe in the long term. Like, I think I could handle physical labor, but also I don't want to stress my body too much because we were harvesting cherries the other day. And some chatters know I have mobility issues, meaning I can't stand or sit for long periods of time. So there's no way I could work a traditional like nine to five at this current time in my life. Um, I don't have any proper diagnosis. They don't know what's wrong with my body. Um, but. I was working outside doing cherry picking for about six hours, and that's the longest I've been standing for. Like, I usually can't stand for that long, but at that point, at the six hour mark, like, I was literally ready to pass out. Um, so, there, there's no way. Old lady syndrome? Okay, it's honestly probably like my anxiety, let's be honest. Because I've taken all types of tests, and like, yeah, nothing is physically wrong, it's probably just your mental, and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm trying to do my best to like make keep my mental good that way hopefully my body will get better over time but that's as most of that I will share so no need to worry chatters like I'm I'm going to doctors and shit it's fine I 
I don't think I could ever work in a factory either. My sister, she works in a, a packaging place. And literally a few weeks ago, some some guy got their finger like stuck in the machine and fucking mutilated his fingers. Thankfully, she didn't see it because it happened like across the building. But still, it's like, oh my god. Because like it's very there's a lot of work injuries in factory workplaces. It's scary, and a lot of the times your company won't protect you if anything happens. So, if you have the opportunity to work in a safe place, I would say go for it. Someone grabbed me. <laughs> you just need to play Beat Saber to fix everything? No, I think I would chip on a wire and then like a DED. <laughs> You're taking AP Physics? Dude, I would never. Like, literally never. I think my most difficult AP class... Because I think senior year I took four AP classes, so... I take AP Spanish... AP... US Government... AP Calculus. What was the last one? And then AP Lit, or AP English. I think English was the most difficult. <laughs> AP US Government? Yeah. That was my senior year. Like, we talked about politics and stuff every day. It was cool. That's why I'm a fucking <laughs> lib. <laughs> <laughs> Every chatters new predictions like go gamba go gamba Oh my god, that guy's got a Godzilla skin! Yeah, Chatters, I graduated five years ago and I thought about it the other day and I got sad. <laughs> I mean, it's fun. Because, like, the way I see things, like, everybody has their own pace in which they go about their life. So don't feel bad if you, like, don't graduate college soon. Or if you don't drive at the same point that everybody else does. As long as you keep working at it, you'll be fine. Like, I used to beat myself up about it because like there was a point where I took a gap year essentially in college like I took like 10 months break like halfway through my degree program and like it was a break for my mental and like it was really good in the long term but in the moment I was like damn I'm behind no way fuck you Titan honestly fuck you Titan but thank you for the 100 bits I fell off no <laughs> She's good at this one, yeah. I was so close to getting like top 20. Ugh. Thank you for donating to the stream though, I appreciate it. Ban him? No. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Sinisters. That's that's a really good take. Degrees degree. As long as you have it, you are already a step ahead of a lot of people. You know what is one way to ban everyone from talking? You can do emote only mode. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Wait, I gotta put a timer on, fuck. Okay, let's see, it's 11.50, so right- Right at the hour I'm- Lamau. Chatters can't talk anymore. <laughs> Peace I to snicker, yep. Okay, Chatters, go Gamba. You know, I want this to be our copy pasta of the day. The pigeon please and then the fog guy run. That's what I want our copy pasta to be. <laughs> I 
I love emote only chat. Oh wait, Deacon, you literally said last time we had emote only mode, you said you would use emotes. You're lying. You're literally gapping. sucked. You know what else sucks? Watching ads on Twitch, because chatters, we are nearly an hour in a stream meeting. It is time for me to run a few minutes of ads. You can avoid the ad break by subscribing for just $4.99, $5. Skip your coffee today and get ad previewing all month long. Or, if you have an Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch account and get a free Prime sub every month. Twitch is doing a special offer until the end of the day today. For all Prime members, if you buy a $100 gift card, you get 20% off, meaning you spend 80 bucks, you get 100. It is crazy. <laughs> yeah, Chatters, um, we're going to continue with more fun, guys, after the break. So get some water, get a snack if you need it. We'll see some of you guys in APU. <laughs> okay, we got one more minute on that email only chat. Damn. I need to- I was doing pretty good earlier. Like, I need to get to a final round. I need that to happen this time. <laughs> okay, Chatters, go Gamba. Next prediction is up. Yeah, but you're EU, Deacon, so... It's kind of your fault. Because <laughs> I think Q-Doodly usually goes live a few hours after I do. Oh, it's this stage again! I hate this stage! I don't like what it's got, like, the triple pull. I don't like it. Distracted by the noise. It was like a trumpet sound. Okay, chatters, you guys can talk now. Have fun. Grill me all you want, I guess. God damn. Wasn't there like a trumpet sound? That one actually like threw me off. It's oh yeah, because you said you're from Australia, right, Mocha? But damn. You should go to bed, hun. Oh, it's probably a taunt. Oh, you're right. What do you mean you're feeling goofy, Mikey? Oh, you want only again? Yeah, it's timed out for an hour. Lamau. The reason why it's timed out for an hour because chatters just like you, Mikey, would do it back after back. See, I know how you guys think. I'm not DUM. I'm a chatter myself. <laughs> nice Titan, nice. Nice.
No, I think emote only mode is fun. Why would I sleep when I can watch this epic gameplay? True. True. Okay. I must redeem myself. I did lose on this stage last time, but I will pass it this time. I will qualify. Oh, that guy's got a hamburger backpack. That's cool. Oh, Cuphead! Dude, I was watching Connery's Pants play Cuphead the other night, and there's literally no way I can play the game. It's way too difficult. It would break my little tiny brain. ultimate troll be to donate and then gamble belief <laughs> i guess but then you would be losing money for donating and then also losing channel points oh my god stop grabbing me <laughs> easy clap god gamer guys i'm good at this game how many losses did I get in a row right before this? Like three or four, right? <laughs> Pull them out. Oh, it's this one again! <laughs> Sorry, I, I swallowed my breath. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. It's this fucking stage again. I hate this one. Cause like it's like once you get caught, you're done. You're done. It feels like the waiting times aren't nearly as long. jumping for no reason oh saved saved no believers we had one per believe so the one person who did believe got a lot of points there hey deacon you're literally drama farming don't do that <laughs> oh mikey was the one believer damn i mean congrats to mikey you're winning good today man Oh, it's this one again. Hey, chatters, go gamba, go gamba. How many points do you have now, Mikey? You got a good handful today. Okay, let's go again. Only four people need to be kicked. My odds are in my favor this time. Actually not! <gasps> Save! Holy shit! I don't condone bullying, says Aislinn, the biggest Ooh. troll in my chat room. Like, actually. <laughs> Ninja fell off. Okay, we're not gonna trash talk Ninja. <laughs> Guys, finally, I'm doing good. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. I think the next one might actually be the final round. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Guys, 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 guys. Chatters, we are- we have finally arrived upon a final round. <laughs> yeah, the infamous ninja tweet, yes, I- I think everybody knows it. <laughs> okay, Chatters, this is it. The best strategy is to try and stay in the center, the highest peak. 
The only thing I do not like about the stage is that you have to keep rotating your camera. Thank you for the gifted crystal. Mega gonna cry. Thank you, Cutie Lee. Hi, welcome to stream, hon. I'm really mad, yeah, I'm really mad. Guys, look at me. I'm so mad right now. No, it's honestly funny. <laughs> Wait, I just realized for any slime level, it's supposed to be five gifted, right? Fuck. I, mean, I don't care, it's funny. <laughs> it's honestly funny. Oh man, I got a lot of pieces though. Look at that shit. Oh my god. Oh wait, because I finished like a mission, right? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna actually fix the text overlay. I don't think we need to change it for slime levels. I think it's fine. There we go. Okay, I changed it, so any donation will make me fall off. It doesn't matter. Let's go again, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. I appreciate it. I'm glad you have a good time here, because I know you said you're new, but I'm glad you're having fun here. Let's spam hydrate. Hey, chatters. We have some... What What should we call them? We have some traders in the chat room to fight the cutie Lee stands. Can we get some of my emotes in the chat room? Because mine are obviously better, and she and or I inspired all of her emotes. Oops, honestly. Okay, I put the wrong prediction up. Fuck. Mega's anti-water? No, I- I- Chad, as you know, I drink like every 10 minutes. I literally drown myself in water. This was full. It's like... Two-thirds empty now. Hey, Chad, let's go Gamba! I got grabbed! I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Wait, I just realized... If chatters keep donating to me, then you guys get less gifted subs. So, it's kind of counterintuitive to an extent, right? We can share, comrade. That sounds like communism, brother. Fucking commie. Hey, chatters. New predictions up, Kogamba. Maybe the strat is just to stay in my little corner and hope nobody comes near me. Oh, no! <laughs> you want that portrait? Well, you gotta give five subs, homie. God damn it. Everybody, like, flocked to me. I'm coping. <laughs> the one time I lost, Titans didn't gamble. Yeah, that was a quick round, unfortunately. Sag. Sag. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, thank you for redeeming, Deacon. 
We announced that yesterday, I don't know if you were in Stream Deacon, but how the sketch card works is it will be an additional segment at the end of stream. So that'll be before the gifting sub journal. So thank you for redeeming. What did I just do? It's different than the portrait sketch cards. There's more info on the Twitter or on my Twitter. So chatters, you guys get an art stream at the end today. Let's go. Okay, your predictions up, go Gamma, go Gamma. Making you stream more true. It's gonna add like 30 minutes of stream time. So if you wanna hang out with me more, you can redeem that channel point redemption every day. It is different than the portrait cards, because for the portrait cards you have to get five subs during the whole month. So those are two separate things. <clears throat> we'll talk about it more later when we get to that actual part of stream. Still hoping and coping for the Discord server? Nah. Not it. I'm not doing a Discord until I can pay somebody to monitor it, so... Badge. Okay, bye Katie. We'll see you next time, hon. Wait, I'm being a bad player. I'm being a bad player. No! God damn it. I hate this stage. I hate this stage. I hate this stage. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Well, I don't know about that, Mac, because my issue is... Um, especially on servers where, like, people can post pictures and stuff, I don't want inappropriate things being spread. So it's like, I wouldn't... Ideally, I will- I would want somebody being on standby, I guess. So ideally, there should be, like, two people. That way, two people can be, like, on standby and, like, sw switch off. But... Cause, like, I don't want anybody to see... Something they don't- they don't want to see. Yeah, I could have media turned off, but... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even manage. She jumped off. She's throwing. No, I didn't lose on purpose, okay? Yeah, it's just like another reason why is I don't want people to feel like they're too close to me. Like, I want to keep that degree of separation as well, so. Those are the two main reasons why. <laughs> Definitely through. True. <laughs> The internet owns my life. Literally same. Because I knew if I had a Discord server, I'd be on it all the time. And I know that's not going to be good for my mental. So. You're totally right, Mac. It's like, I know my chatters, but I don't know, know you guys. You know what I mean? Like, I've seen some weird shit in other fellow friend servers, so. I don't want anybody to be like dramatized or anything or like preyed upon, so. Maybe when we hit um 1k subs. <laughs> Peace and meet grid on Discord at a million subs, let's fucking go. Has anybody ever hit a million subs? I generally I think the highest was Ludwig and he had like 200,000, right? Yeah, any Oilers want to gift a million subs? <laughs> Could you even make a transaction that big? That would be like nearly 5 million before taxes, right? That'd be crazy. Oh my god, come on! I can probably do that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm stuck! Oh, come on. Okay, we're gonna do the strat. Come on, get me on there. How much is a million tier ones? It's probably like five mil. 
I mean, I bet Bezos could give me that much money, let's be honest. What if I imagine Bezos is secretly a piece in 17 Sim? <laughs> Fuck, I clicked the wrong button. Let's get out of here. Oh, max is 100? Damn. I mean, 100 is a lot of fucking money. That's like 500 bucks, that's insane. I was thinking about it though. Like, you know, like the big streamers or like celebrities? They probably have like alt accounts on social media and stuff or like any platform. Like, are they the secret oilers in like people's chat rooms? Is it them? Okay, new predictions at Gogamba. Because I know if I was rich or famous, I would have an alt account. I wouldn't be doing it on my main. <laughs> I can definitely tell you I'm not Titan 6. Okay, got a boss. <laughs> yeah, I get what you're saying, Deacon. I hate summer as well. But you know, we'll be here all summer and all year. So you can hang on here as much as you want, hon. Oh my god, so many people got kicked. Oh my god. Oh, I thought it was almost one of them. On, one more, one more. Easy clap. <sighs> Megan focusing because she keeps dying on the stage. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> you know, I'm playing the win, guys. I need to get at least one crown today. It'd be pathetic if I had two Fall Guys streams where I didn't get a single drown a crown. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Fall and winter is my favorite. I hate when it's too hot. Oh my god. Thank you for the $10 tip, Rainy. I appreciate that. But chatters, you know what that means. You know what that means. Rainy tipped $10. Thank you, Rainy. I appreciate that. That means I, I need to fall off somehow. I oh wait, I generally can't fall off like this. How do you tip? There's a link in the panels. Okay, there's literally no way for me to die. Oh wait, hold it. Not me intentionally trying to lose. Ah, damn! I was so close! I could have been like the eighth person. Finally, you can chat. Hi, so hi, Splunk, and welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today. We are in follower only low chat. That's why it took a while, but I appreciate waiting and sticking around, huh? Low times three! Rainy, you're crazy! Another ten? Huh? Rainy, you're crazy! Wait, you tipped thirty dollars? Wait, Rainy, you're crazy. Did you actually? Wait, I need to check. Wait, I need to exit first. Rainy, you're crazy. Times four. You're trolling, you're trolling, you're literally trolling, you're trolling. <laughs> Me channel point dumping. Another one? Rainy, did you actually? You're crazy. Yeah, she's spoiling me, guys. Oh my god, you're crazy. Rainy, you need to stop. Rainy, you literally, you need to stop. Rainy, Chatters, you don't know. She's a friend. She's a friend. Rainy, you need to stop. I, I, okay. I owe chat four losses, okay? That's not fair. That's not fair to me. 
Now Viking can buy Beat Saber, true. Um, I also have a command that the chatters want to donate to. Wait, so this means another one. <laughs> DJ Khaled. Another one. Okay, well, I just have to fall off four times now. I have to fall off in Fall Guys four times. Maybe this level will be one where I don't insta-die. It probably is, because it's our level. No, it's it. <laughs> it is our level. Oh my god, Rainy, you need to- Rainy, calm down. Time- lol time six. Okay, chatters. She can buy V-Bucks now. Well, true, I can buy the season pass now if I wanted to, because I wanted to. Like, last night, I was debating it. So, Rainy, thank you. Now I can buy the season pass. 1.1k <coughs> on doubt. <laughs> 2.7k? Okay, well... I need to try and, like... Uh, despawn here. Okay, thank you, Rainy. I appreciate it. <laughs> Rainy's a material girl. <laughs> okay, so... I died twice. It means I, I owe four. I owe four now. <laughs> yeah, easy dub guys for the doubters. Okay, let's try and do a stage where I won't insta die. Let's see. Okay, let's do um, let's just do a regular solos. But seriously, Rainy, you crazy? My account is still blocked. I already give subs. Oh wait, honestly. Since I'm up 60 bucks, I can I can afford to give chat subs if I somehow win today. <laughs> you still predicted yes? Well, that's a brain dead move, Mikey, honestly. Oh my god! Thank you for the $10, Mac. I appreciate that. And that's another one, Lamau. Fuck. Wait, I actually need to keep track of this. <laughs> Rainy's a sugar mama? I mean, maybe. She might be. Okay, I actually need to write this down. Dude. I'm gonna buy so much cool shit. Okay, so Rainy had 60. Oh my god, she's crazy. And then Mac with 10. <laughs> Doubters go all in. <laughs> Any believers in chat? Okay, well this part I can maybe actually do well. I'll just have to fall off what? Five times at the end. Okay, I can do it, I can do it. Yeah, I do have my stream elements, like, tip thing enabled, but I don't promote it very often. Because, I honestly, um, I prefer people gift subs if they are gonna donate to the channel. Because when people give subs, then, like, chatters get to enjoy the emotes. But I know Rainy was having issues with her account, so it's totally fine. I- I'm debating if I- I try to get TTS set up, but, like, I don't have, um... Oh my god, Deacon! You're crazy! Thank you for the 500 bits, hun. I appreciate that. Wait, does that mean I have to fall off 500 times? Wait, no, not 500, but 5 times. Okay, so wait. I, I owe 10 now. But okay, let's get a checkpoint real quick. Dude, chatters, you guys are owing me up today. Okay, so that's one, that's one. <laughs> no, it's 500 times? No, I actually don't. Yeah, I'm just gonna farm the shit out of this stage. That's two. I owe eight more. Three. That's four. Six more. That's, wait. Okay, seven more. Thank you for the larger best signs. Okay, six. Six more. One. Seven more. Wait, no. Five more. Five more. Fuck. I'm losing out. Okay, four more. I need to I need to count my fingers. Four more. Three more. Maybe I can actually make it. <laughs> Maybe I can make it. Okay, two more, two more. This feels like exploitation. No, I'm I'm farming. I'm farming. I'm farming. One more, one more! One more! Okay, we're all caught up, we're all caught up, we're all caught up. Maybe I can make it. Um literally no shot. Literally no way. Dude, I got 
pretty close though. <sighs> like seriously, it got pretty close. I had to despawn ten times. Okay, now we're all caught up. Now I can't scam chat. We're all caught up. Okay. Nobody else donate to the stream. For the love of God, nobody else, please. <laughs> I mean, but actually? <laughs> no, come on. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. I'm gonna play for real. That was fun, I guess. But thank you, chatters. I appreciate it. You guys really fucking oiled me up there. <laughs> Blame Rainy. Yeah, she started it. <laughs> Yeah, there was no believers that time. I mean, valid. Valid. Okay, I think my game froze. Because it usually doesn't take this long to unfreeze. Yeah, it was frozen. I think it's because I, like, exited the match and then it didn't register. But it's fine. It's it. <laughs> like, I try to get TTS set up for donations, but since I don't have headsets connected to my desktop audio, I wouldn't hear it. And I feel like that's half of the fun. So, because the headset I have is connected to my TV. Because anytime I try and output my game audio to my desktop it glitches or i can hear it in my headsets but stream can't hear it so one day when i get a nicer pc then we'll have tts because i think tts is funny like there's usually some good clips from streams related to tts <laughs> okay, chat, let's go again! Should we do just regular solos? But like, honestly, the survival of the fittest mode, it it's faster. I think we'll do both of those. Um, you can DM me on Twitter, Mac. DM me on Twitter. And I'll look at it after stream. Okay, chatters, new prediction is up, Gogamba. Please let this be normal. I just want to play to win. Please. Wait, I think it was Deacon who sent me a video of like a screen cap of a person like streaming on a TikTok live. And they were like, please don't give me flowers. Don't give me roses. And they're crying and it's the funniest shit. Like I do shill a lot, but I think it's funny. Okay, easy, easy course, easy course. Literally no way I can lose here. Literally no shot. It's her today, yeah, it's literally me. <laughs> I know, I wanna do like a baby TikTok stream too. But I don't wanna be known for that. I feel like Chatters, I feel like Mad Chatters would go and screen cap it and then fucking cancel me or something. <clears throat> I mean, it would be a good gag. Because, like, I do shill on stream all the time. So it wouldn't be unfitting, I guess. Oh, I fell off? I think technically the TOS for a TikTok live, you're not supposed to give people something if they donate to you, but people do it all the time. Because, like, what I wanted to do is, um, when I initially unlocked TikTok lives, I wanted to do, like, if anybody donated it, I would write their name. Like, I, I do for, like, the normal sub journal. But apparently you can't really do that. But people still do it all the time and they don't get banned. So I'm like, hmm. I'm like, peace I too. Hmm. Because I have the anxiety to where I, I don't you I'm a goody good. I don't I don't act up. I'm not bad. But um 
I feel like the one time I do do something like that's against the rules, I'll get reported and banned. It's like, mm. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Mocha. Those streams are pretty good. Or like when people do like sleeping streams on Twitch, and they'll have like TTS on on like their Bluetooth speaker. Those are pretty good streams too. Hey chatters, we have made it past the first round. Let's fucking go. Finally a W for me. <clears throat> you have a channel point that makes you do squats? Dude, I would- I would D-E-D -E if I had to do squats. I can barely stand up, bro. <laughs> not funny, not funny. It was like, I am trying to work out more. Like, sometimes I'll- I'll do my bike rides and then I'll do like squats and stuff, but sometimes... But, I don't know. I was thinking about doing Ring Fit on stream one day. But I don't know. I don't want to be sweaty on cam. I don't think- I don't think chatters want that. You did 600 squats in two hours? Bruh. That's like the presidential athletic competition. That's some crazy shit. Oh no! I got skamazed. I was like the second to last person. Okay, Chatters, we've made it to the third round. There's literally no way I can lose now. Unless. No, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. <laughs> oh, okay, this one, this stage is super easy. I can make it past this one. This one's easy. Easy clap. Hey chat, it's go gamba, go gamba. This one is easy as long as you stay in the center left or the center right. Like right here is a sweet spot. <laughs> Wait, I, I didn't dodge it in time. Also, it's best if you stay in the front, that way if you do get hit with a projectile, you fall backwards instead of falling off the stage. If you don't grab me, that's mean, that's bully behavior. Oh, no, come on, come on. Dude, everybody's living, this isn't fair. Really? This was like the easiest map ever for me. There's only been one time where I've lost it. It is nice that the projectiles only come from one direction. Like, imagine they came from both sides. That'd be crazy. Two more. Oh, no. One more. Easy. Ooh. Yeah, let's go! Ooh. Did we really have no believers this time? I literally opened this stage saying I'm cracked at this stage, that I'm good. It's easy. Okay, Chatter, second to last round. Let's go. Okay. Oh no. It's our first time playing the stage today. This one's a toss up. This one can go either way. It all depends on your spawn point. If you spawn in the front of everybody, you are set. You are solid. <laughs> oh, I'm near the front. Okay, I'm good. I'm good.
Okay, chatters, hold for a second. Are we still there? My mod view isn't working. You're good? Okay. Well, for some reason... My streaming software is open, but my my browser crashed. Meaning my internet crashed. But we're still up, so hmm, we don't have any drop frames. That's fucking weird. Dude, is Twitch doing maintenance? Fuck me. Yeah, my Twitch dashboard isn't loading at all. Uh-oh. <clears throat> we are here, thank you, chatter. So hold, hold for a second. I can't- I can't- <laughs> Hold! Hold! Well, this is fucking weird. This has never happened before. Okay. Quick, everyone write. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't. Do something funny. Your mom? Oh, we're back! Thank God it's back. I couldn't see chat. <laughs> okay, we're back, we're back. I'm back. Sorry, chatters. I don't know what the fuck happened there. <laughs> For some reason, like, my streaming software didn't freeze at all. But... My- my- cause I have a- I- I have an internet browser tab open so I can see chat. Like, that just crashed. And that was weird. Okay, we're back, chatters, we're back, we're back. There's no need for you guys to refresh, cause I'm the one who effed there. <laughs> that was like a mini panic attack. Okay, chatters. Anyway, let's go back to the game. I appreciate your patience. Okay, new prediction is up. Go Gamba. <laughs> Five head strat deacon. <laughs> yeah, I have all my cameras covered up because I'm so scared that it's gonna leak something. So no, no FBI is gonna see me, baby. Gotta go. No problem. We'll see you next time, hon. Hope you have a great day, Titans. Once again, thank you for the bits earlier. I appreciate that, man. Like, my sister, she is so scared of, like, hackers and shit. She will cover her phone camera, too. Like, she doesn't have her selfie camera on. Like, she has tape over it. Scared of backer? Maybe. <laughs> Cause like you ever hear the stories of people accidentally going live and then they leak something? I don't think that could ever happen with me because my go live button, I have to click go live and then click yes. So I have to click two buttons. So that means I have to like royally fuck up if I accidentally go live. Easy. Easy clap. 
Okay, we had a majority doubters that time. Okay. Yeah, my USB webcam. Wait, my I technically have the art cam, and then this one is my DSLR. I kind of want to buy a new DSLR that way I can actually go outside and take pictures, but they are way too expensive. Like the one I'm looking at is like 500 bucks, and I want to get like the different attachments where I can like zoom in and shit. But those lenses are a lot too. Maybe next year. Oh, because my sister and I, since Nintendo World is coming to California next summer, I think, we're going to save up and try to go to Disney Land next year, and then Universal, once they have the Super Nintendo Land. <clears throat> no, come on. No way there's projectiles, too. That is so unfair. Like, genuinely unfair. Yeah, I think the strat is to find a space where there's a wall, that way it gets blocked. Like this, five head. Oh my god, actually big brain strat. Hey chatters, that's two rounds down. Easy. Oh, it's this one again. It's this one. We'll see how it goes. Damn. This one is the bane of my existence. Like, seriously. This one never goes well for me. Okay, the strat is to stay in the center. Walked right into that one. Oh, I had to last. There's no minimum eliminated. No! How? <laughs> God damn! What are the odds? I fell in the one little tiny hole. God damn it! Damn! 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 I'm clipping. Yeah, clip it. Do it. Hey, welcome to stream, Sunny. Hope we're doing well today. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. God damn. I was doing so good. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, we are hour 45, so you probably got time for maybe... One more round if I go all the way, and then two or three if I take some else. So let's keep going, guys. <laughs> hey, chat. New predictions up. He, him, and Sunny. Okay, sounds good. Is that Mike Wazowski? <laughs> oh, easy. Literally no way I lose on this one. Are you guys ready 
to see the best run of this track you've ever seen in your life? Okay. You know, we take a few hits, that's fine, that's normal. Here we go, easy. We got through the hard part. Here we're gonna wait. Let it pass. There we go. Dude, that was insane! Top 5, baby! Dude, that was crazy. That was an insane dive right there. I shouldn't have done it, but you know what? I made it. That was crazy. Can somebody please flip that? That was crazy. That was lucky. Did something happen while you were gone? Well, um, I think Chatters tipped me a total of $70. Shoutouts to Rainy, shoutouts to Mac. And then I had to... And then we also got bits. And then, so I had to jump off the stage 10 times. So that was pretty crazy. Well, you know, just a normal day. <laughs> just a normal stream. But that was actually crazy though, guys. Like, seriously, thank you. Oh, you're here for that? Oh, okay. <laughs> but that was crazy, wasn't it? I was like, oh my god. Hey, chat. Next prediction is up and running. Go Gamba. Usually, I can pass this stage guaranteed if it's round one, but since this is round two, less people qualify. So, I might make it. It's a toss-up. I just have to make... Every single move I make has to be perfect. I cannot mess up anything. Okay, I spawned on the middle left. That's a good spawn point. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. This is not good. Oh, no. This is really bad. This is really bad. You know, it's fine. We can come back. We can come back. Dude, literally everybody else is so far ahead. That guy stopped right in front of me. That was on purpose. I swear to God. Damn, I should not have gone this bad! Oh, fuck. Oh, no! No! Damn. It's because I got tripped up at the start. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I'm glad you're excited for the art part, though. I was looking excited- or I was looking forward, too. Looking forward to it too. Because I announced it yesterday because I want to try and integrate art into the stream more. So, yeah. I'm glad somebody redeemed it today. Because Loki Haiki, I was sad nobody redeemed it yesterday, but you know, it's fine. Your points are valuable, so I get it. Okay, chatters. We are at a minute 50, or not a minute, an hour 50. So we probably have time for two more rounds. Two more rounds, guys. Yeah, everything did go against me that time. It's kind of unfortunate. Should we do... Um, let's do regular solos. Because I, I kind of want to get levels that I can beat. Like, we need a dub today. Chat has donated a lot to me. I need to at least get one crown so I can gift a sub. But I don't know. It feels fair. 
<laughs> hey chat, new predictions up. Do you think I'll make it past the first round? <laughs> Crystal, you're so funny. How many points do you have? <laughs> You've already wasted 2k today on messages. <laughs> You got 735 now? Damn. Oh, I think you said yesterday you were saving up for the card, which somebody did already, so... You've been doing well on Gamba? I think our next Gamba will be next Mario Kart, so it's gonna be a solid week before you can do Gambas again. Sag. I think that's another reason why I wanted to swap out Fall Guys for um, Kirby. Because I know chatters love Gamba. And also, I feel like Fall Guys is a lot more hype. I feel like definitely. Like, I feel like chat has fun. I know I love the game. I'm gonna have withdrawals. I mean, I don't know if we can really do Gambas for the Sunday Animal Crossing stream. Um, chatters exclamation event in chat for more information on that. Because, like, I'm not necessarily gonna be competing, I'm gonna be hosting, so I'm not sure. Okay, there we go, easy. I mean, there could be a few rounds where I do participate, but it just depends on how many people show up on Sunday. Or not show up, that's not a nice way of saying, that's not a nice way of saying it, but, like, how many people participate, let's say. Because, like, I know some people don't have Animal Crossing. I know some people um, don't want to play with viewers, and that's fine. Can we gamble on who will win? But if there's eight people, I think for predictions, I think you can only have I think four options. It's four or six, I think, but not eight. So if, if we do have a, like, a maxed out full lobby of eight people on the island, then or maybe we could do team i'm still thinking about because like i have an idea of what we're doing for sunday i still need to like finalize it out and do a few tests with friends offline um but basically we're gonna be cooking so i'm gonna supply you guys uniforms and food and you guys will cook um so i'm still figuring out like the logistics still No, I almost had it! Dude, I got bumped, I got bumped. There we go, perfect. Ooh, look at that! Bro, I almost had it! Okay, I'm halfway there, halfway there. I should have dived. I forgot to dive. I thought I didn't have to dive. No! Dude, I was so close. Three more points. Three more points. I'm, I got this in the bag. Two more. End me. One more, come on. No, come on, I'm so, I'm so oh, come on, I'm so close. God damn it. Dude, I was legitimately so close. I was one point away. One measly little point away. I think you so no, I literally didn't. I was trying my best there. 
Hey, Rainy, welcome back. The sugar mommy is back. <laughs> Once again, thank you, Rainy. That was crazy. You're crazy. You know what I'm gonna do, Rainy? I'm gonna gift you that amount in subs literally tomorrow. <laughs> or, I don't know. Because I gotta go buy groceries after a stream today. Okay, chatters. We got four minutes left to fall, guys. I think we have one more round for today. We're gonna make this one a good one. We're gonna get all the way to the end. I'm gonna get that crown. I expect to see only believers this time. You guys know what to do. Believers only. If you doubt this time, you're a hate watcher. I used to be so bad at this stage. The sea sauce, I used to hate it. But the strat is you have to try and stay in the center of the seesaw as much as you can. <laughs> Watch her lose first round. That would be sad. That would be devastating. Like, genuinely. No way! I didn't know there was a gap there! Oh, this run is perfect so far, except for that one flub at the start. It's going great. That's no problem, Crystal. You can always watch the VOD if you want to catch up on stuff. Why is that guy just standing there? <gasps> oh my god, fuck off! You guys see that? I barely made that last jump. Oh my god, this is way too close. Literally way too close. Holy shit. Man, we had a majority doubters. Like I said, if you put doubt this whole round we are playing, you're literally hay watcher. Because I'm gonna get a crown this time. I'm gonna do it. Oh my god. Now we just gotta wait for everybody else to finish up. Okay, what's the point of somebody having their username just be random letters? I don't get it. I do not understand it. Oh my god, is that Santa? I thought Santa wasn't real. <laughs> uh, chatters, close your ears. I mean, too late now, but... Maybe a bot, maybe. Gotta go, no problem. We'll see you next time. We'll have fun hanging out with you today. Also, I want to say, Wolf, when you're still here, thank you for that nice TikTok comment earlier. It made my day. I screenshotted it. It was so sweet. So thank you, hun. I appreciate it. I didn't think reindeers were real until I was 14. Okay, homie. I knew reindeers were real because we would go to the zoo when I was little and we specifically had a reindeer exhibit. So I knew they were real. You know what would be mean? You know what would be actually mean? If I ran an ad right now. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'll wait till this round is over. Can chatters go gamba? You were in year seven when you found out raccoons are real? Do they have raccoons in Australia? Because I was like, I was going to say, like, really? Come on. But if they don't have it in Australia, then I guess it kind of makes sense. Kind of valid. <laughs>
Okay, this is another easy stage. This one I got in the bag. No! No! I literally just- <laughs> I was gonna say the RNG for that part is so good. But I fell off. I got ratioed. Dive! Okay, good! Saved! Dude, there's so many people ahead of me. Oh my god, easy, easy! No way to lose- no way- literally no way I lose. There we go, top 10, baby! They were weird cats. <laughs> and now I get it. I mean, because, like, if you don't live in an area where that animal isn't native, then you only really see them in, like, books or movies, right? Oh no. Sag. This guy DC'd. Okay, chatters, that's round two. That's round two. We have survived. <laughs> okay, chatters, new prediction is up. Go Gamba. Oh no! It's this one. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. We have PSI 2-7. I don't know. Uh, oh, there's only one! There's only one green pole. Okay, I might be saved. There's only one. Oh, I forgot. This is the normal solos mode. Ooh, ten people have to get kicked? Oh, no. I have been blessed. <gasps> oh my god, another close one! Holy shit! Guys. The, the game loves me right now. That was crazy. I got saved like three times. When I should have fallen off. Oh my god. This might be it. This might be it. This one might actually be it. We got two rounds left, guys. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. <gasps> okay, I know an insane skip for this level. I don't know if we've ever played this stage on stream, but I can show you guys a crazy skip. It is actually insane. It is kind of difficult to do, but... I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I might miss a few times, but maybe I can get on the first try. <gasps> Look at that! No way! No way! I fall off! No way! I fall off! Yeah, that was rude. I I I got the skip, and then I got kicked. That was genuinely rude. Oh no, I think it might be too late for me. Uh oh. Uh oh! Uh oh. There we go, there we go! Come on, get up, get up! Guys, just just don't even look at me. That was 
That was not good. But you guys saw how it worked, right? You guys saw how it worked. <clears throat> oh, damn, I gotta get out of here. But what you do is you intentionally jump into the hammer. Because it did it did launch me, it launched me twice. So you have to like time your jump properly that way you launch in the right spot. But that's that's one of the skips you can do. You know what else chatters can do? You can avoid an ad break by subscribing because an ad break is coming. We are nearly two hours to stream. So after the ad break, we will be doing Animal Crossing. So if you enjoy more just chatting, we're gonna do our dailies, more chill vibes. So stick around for that ad break. You can subscribe for just $4.99. For five dollars, keep your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or today is the second day of Prime Day, so you can link your Amazon to your Twitch and get a free Prime. Wait, Am link your Amazon, your Twitch account, and get a free pr Twitch Prime sub every month. And also, Twitch is offering an, an exclusive coupon if you are a Prime member, to where you can get twenty percent off of a hundred a hundred dollar gift card. So, chatters, utilize that coupon today. Uh, anyway, an ad break is coming. Get some water, get a snack if you need it. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Yeah, I would like to clarify. It's not my fault that I lost today. Oops. <laughs> it's not my fault that I didn't get any crowns. I blame chat. There was... Which round was it? The one time I got to a final round, we had a donation, right? We had a gifted sub. That was kind of mean. That was kind of rude. Okay, let's get out of here. So, I blame chat for me not getting a crown today. Let's be honest. It's not my fault. I play 2L, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, we can all, like, hate on Crystal, because you are right. Crystal, you were the one who gifted. That made me lose everything. So, big Sag. Okay, right now we're changing the title. Hmm. What should I change it to? How do you spell recouping? Wait, I need to look up how to spell recouping. <laughs> My title's gonna be bad, okay. Oh, it is OU. Hey, Chad, is you <laughs> gonna hate me for this title? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's bad, it's bad. It's bad. Hey, okay, bye, Crystal. We'll see you next time, hun. Once again, thank you for the gifted subs. You're gonna get your name written in the sub journal at the end of stream. I hope you have a great day. Okay, chatters. <laughs> I titled it Recouping from My Loss. <laughs> oh my god. It's kind of like, you know, like the YouTube videos where it's like, my dog died, and it's them with like a really sad face. It's got those type of vibes to it, right? Okay, anyway, anyway. <laughs> Hello there, everyone. Right now in Timlin, it is 1.05 p.m. on Wednesday, July 13th, 2022. The most fashionable of the Able Sisters, LaBelle, is visiting us on Timlin today. She says she needs volunteers to help with some research. If you have time, please visit her in the plaza. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Oh my god, Chatters, you know what time it is. Thank you for redeeming that, Issa. Chatters get to shut the fuck up for five minutes. <laughs> Again. Yeah, I actually have the timer now. There we go. 
And <laughs> peace, I too smile. <laughs> Oh, I changed my fit. I basically have like a 4th of July fit. You see, look, I got a little crop top and then like my holy ass shorts. I think it's cute. Let's emote mode for five minutes. We got the timer on screen. <clears throat> okay, let's let's see what we can do today. I think because I harvested all the fruit yesterday, right? So we can probably go to a deserted island and then just do stuff on the island. We need to water. Ooh, I also got I got some special flowers yesterday that I'll show you guys in a second. But first, let's see if there's any shop any any shops in the clothes. I already have a maid dress, so I don't need to buy another one. Ah, oh, damn, nothing good, nothing cute. You guys want some bones? I remember when the no bones meme was like popping off. I didn't understand what it meant. And I had to like look it up on Google. Cause I was like, why? What is this no bones day shit? Ooh. What is this? This looks like a mailbox. Or like a locker you have at your work. Okay, so I kind of want to water first. Because I almost forgot to water last night. And that would have been bad. You see, look, I finally got green mums last night. I had them yesterday, but I didn't even notice them because I thought they were just like the regular flower buds, but green. Finally, green mums have been acquired. I think my favorite music in the game has to be the midday in the morning. It sounds quirky almost. With like, cause like the tunes sound off key almost. I know it's intentional, but it sounds like quirky. Guys, we got about 30 seconds left. 30 more seconds. And then you guys can finally be free. The music would annoy you, really? I feel like it's fine. I do like how the music changes throughout the day. Because I feel like if the same music played all day, every day, that would actually like piss me off.
Okay, your guys' time is up. You guys are now free. Your shackles are now removed. I want to play the other Animal Crossing games. Which ones are on the Switch? I don't know which ones are. Because this is my first ever Animal Crossing game. I never played any of the ones that were on the, like, the DS or the Wii. Because when I was little, like, when I was little, for any game we could buy, like, my sister had to want it as well. And no way she was gonna buy Animal Crossing. No shot. None are fuck. Damn. Well, I guess we're shit out of luck then. Cause, like, I know I could get an emulator, but... I wouldn't be able to stream emulated games because, like, no way I could do it without a second monitor. So, damn! nostalgia of Minecraft. I never played it. The only time I played it was I went to a sleepover at my friend's house in the 7th grade. No, it was 8th grade, I think. And she was so excited to show me Minecraft and I was just unimpressed. Looking back, I felt bad because it was obvious that I was unimpressed by the game, but she was so excited to show me like what she had built and I was just like, that's okay. And I was like, you know, this looks like Legos but worse. And like... <laughs> Looking back, I should have been nicer about it, but you know, little cubess and brain Megan didn't understand social cues. I'd be mad, yeah, honestly, I wasn't a good friend. But the reason why I wasn't a good friend is because I was just so socially inept. Even now, like, I still mess stuff up concerning social cues. Or like, I read the message wrong, you know? And I feel bad, but also like... It's a two-way street, you know? It's not just me who doesn't pick up on the social cues. I would have sent you home immediately? Fuck. <laughs> no, like, she couldn't get too much, because I think there was, like, another girl who was also over, so there was three of us. <laughs> just imagine sending me home. Hey, Deacon, don't say someone else is live in the chat. That's kind of cringe. You've gone back down to your Minecraft kids phase? Oh no. I mean, I feel like it's okay to play Minecraft as long as you're like 18 and under. I think that's the target demographic. Anything older than 18 is kind of like, hmm. This is coming from somebody who has never played Minecraft, so it's never been a nostalgia thing for me. I think a big reason why I never picked up Minecraft is because it's usually a bit too open world. Like, it, it's fully, from what I've seen, like, you get to make your own of the game. Like, I like games that have, like, a very specific direction and a course of action that I'm supposed to take. That's another reason why I haven't played Breath of the Wild. Is because it's a bit too open world for me, even though there are, like, missions and side quests. It's like, the world is too big. Cause, like, I play games to escape my reality when I feel like there's already so much going on in real life. So when there's a game where there's too many options just like real life, it kind of freaks me out. I don't know, it's just me.
I, I totally understand what you're saying, Mocha. It's like, okay, it's like those free speech Andes who are like, why can't I say bad words or why can't I say slurs? It's like, well, there's a reason why you shouldn't say certain things. And I had this discussion with my friend the other day. And they were basically saying, you know, it's unacceptable to say this word. Um, word in context was the R word. Referring to non-able-bodied people, right? Um, and he, they were like, you know, it's unacceptable to say the word now. And I was like, hold up. Keep, it wor keep in mind the word you're using. It's unacceptable. Um, meaning with that specific connotation, you are so worried about what other people think that you're not going to say the word. But the reason why you should not say certain words is because they are insensitive and will hurt people's feelings. That's the reason why you shouldn't say certain things. Not because people will hate you for saying said thing, but because it's not a good thing to say. That could be in referral to any type of insult, any slur, any bigotry word. And I think once you change that perspective, it kind of opened their eyes a little bit. Anyway, that's my take. Oh, bye, Yosa. We'll see you next time, hon. I'm glad to see you. It's been a while, but I hope you have a great day, hon. That's actually such a good take. Yeah, literally, I only have way too base takes. <laughs> but honestly, Mocha, if you need, like, I think the way I kind of um, explain things, yes, it does, I think, kind of change perspectives in the sense of, like, seeing things through a different lens. Because if you word things a certain way, it'll change people's perspectives, right? And... Okay, that whole discussion concerning the word acceptable did start an argument between me and said friend. Because I know I, I love English, I love the English language, I like learning about word meanings and connotations. Connotation means the subtle nuances and meaning to a certain word that you use. So, anytime I talk to somebody, I will always- I hyper-analyze what they say and how they speak in the sense of their specific word choices, their diction, choice of word. Um, because there's a reason why they're saying specific words or phrasing things a certain way, right? Because I have a, man a, a manipulative brain. I am toxic Loki Heike. In the sense of, I will nitpick everything somebody says because I'm so worried about misinterpreting what they say or me potentially hurting their feelings. So I hyperanalyze what other people say along with myself and what I say. Um, anyway... <laughs> Where am I going at that point? I'm just- I'm literally self-reporting right now. Um, <laughs> awkward. But, I think the main point is, people will say things a certain way to make you feel how they want you to feel. And that's just how basic human, interac human interaction is. So it's interesting. I like to- I hyper-analyze and I hyper-think about it. I think it's interesting. Hello! Welcome to stream, Blue Moon. Or Rims. Um, if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. But welcome to chat! Um, where was I going? Because there is always a subtle reason as to why people say specific things the way they do. That, that's like the main point. Like, you know how, let's say you get into an argument with a friend or a partner and they will say specific words that they know will quote-unquote trigger you and make you more upset? There's a reason why they say those things. It's to get the desired reaction they want from you. So I typically will use my manipulative trait in a good way. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the island. Enough self-reporting on my end. <laughs> I think a prime example of keywords having more impact is what you see in like news media in the sense of like what specific phrases and words they use in headlines. And kind of, like just like the it's like clickbait where you use certain words and phrases to like twist the narrative on either whatever side you're on. Like, every, thing, every single thing concerning, like, speech and writing is done intentionally. Um, blue is fine? Okay, no problem. Your gender fluid. Are you okay if I use they, them? Is that okay? 
But I usually use they them by default too, but I don't know. I I took AP English, so we had a whole unit where we had to analyze like news media, like stories through the lens of connotation and like word choice and diction. So I just have that type of brain. Okay, cool, I appreciate that, Blue. Oh, they got carrots here, nice! We got crops for Sunday, guys! Okay, let's not talk about <laughs> social dynamics and talk about something lighter and fun. Because, like, this was a story time I was supposed to tell yesterday, but I forgot. I totally blanked. But on Sunday, we harvested cherries because we have two big cherry trees in our backyard. And I was like, I want to take a picture and post it on, like, Twitter or whatever. So I was like, Mom, can you take a picture of me holding the cherries? And she's like, okay. I'll show chat later the pictures. But, <laughs> um, my mom, she's older, right? She knows how to use her phone. She's not that social or, like, technologically inept. But she is dog shit at taking pictures. Like, her go-to, if it's a portrait, just, like, high-angle shot that we hide your flabs, right? But the shot was just me holding cherries. So she took- <laughs> She took the first picture, like, five feet away, and it was blurry, and it was dog shit. So I was like, Mom, try- Please, for the love of God, try again. I was like, come closer, you can come closer to me. She takes another picture, it's bad, it's another bad one. And I'm like, Mom, let's switch hands, like, I, I need to show you what to do. So, I start posing, like, the cherries on our table, I start posing the utensils, and I, I pose everything for her, and I'm like, Mom, literally take the picture just like this. And she's like, okay! Because, Chatters, if you don't know, I'm in art school, so, like, I take, <laughs> I take photography very seriously, like, I always want to make sure I have a good composition in terms of, like, placement of your elements. And she looked at the picture that I took, or I basically framed out for her, and she's like, oh my god, that looks so good. I'm like, yeah, it creates a di more dynamic composition when you have things that go in different directions, also more elements, more details. But <laughs> I, I dead ass, I felt like a director on a set telling somebody how to like line up a shot. It was, it was kind of funny and cool, but good times, man. Oh, nice. You're from TikTok. Let's go, guys. Another TikTok frog. But thank you for coming over into stream, man. I swear, literally everybody's from TikTok. That's not a problem. Because we know we love our little TikTokers. But yeah, my streams are usually pretty chill. Usually, um, since you're new, if you do exclamation schedule in chat or look at the about page, you'll see our normal stream schedule. Usually the first half of stream is a bit more hype because we do our game of the day, but Animal Crossing is more chill. So feel free and chat with me, or other chatters, too. <laughs> oh wait, I said I was gonna show you guys the pictures. <laughs> Let me actually show you guys the pictures I was talking about. <laughs> Imagine I didn't show you guys. Okay, so this was the first picture she took. Let's see if it'll focus. Look, it's so bad. This was from like five feet away. <laughs> so that was the first picture she took. And I was like, Mom, for the love of God, we're not posting that one. <laughs> and then she took this one. This one was fine. Um, it was fine, but you know, the frame wasn't good, my wrist looks like it's fucking broken. And then, I was like, Mom, Mom, please, for the love of God, I will show you how to frame the shot. 
So then this next one is one that I took of her hand to show her how I wanted the shot to look. Look at how nice that is. It's got the bowl of cherries, it's got a loose branch, it's got the clippers, and a hand with a cherry on it. So I was like, Mom, this is how I want the picture to look. And she's like, oh, okay. And then this is the final shot she took. I posted this, this one, this is the final that got posted on Twitter. But see how nice that is? Like, the dynamic of the shot. You can see. Let me actually point stuff out. Wait, one second. I gotta... <laughs> I, this would be a lot easier in sucking hand, but look. Oh, oh, you yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's my ring light. Fuck. Oh, but see here? See that hole? That's a hole in the table. And then see how this lines up with that hole in the table, the clipper tool? And then see with photography, you want to see the different lines, right? So see, there's a line here going from the hole to the tool. There's another line from that tree branch. It directs your eyesight to the bowl of cherries, right? Your mom's pick had some potential they were closer, true, but still. She she needs to learn a bit more. But hi, welcome to stream, Beninini. <laughs> the first, I was like, the first one was pretty nice. Uh, the first one was dog shit. <laughs> yeah, I think the biggest thing with photography is you need to um, take in consideration every single element that's in your, I guess, frame or POV. So, I, I taught her something that day. <laughs> and, like, I also had to be careful to, like, not leak anything of the house. Because the first picture she took that I deleted off my phone, like, it literally showed our house number. And I was like, Mom, I, I literally, no, I, I cannot post that one. She's like, why? I'm like, it has our house number on it. <laughs> Fucking brain dead. I mean, because, like... She'll post pictures, like, on Facebook for her friends to see, but she doesn't realize that, like, even though I'm a Humegalol, I don't want people knowing where I live. So I am very careful with what I post. Also, chatters. Another thing to keep in mind, I think it's pretty, like, common knowledge if you go on vacation, you should avoid posting pictures while you're on vacation because that way, like, potential robbers will know that you're not in the house. Um... But also be careful about posting pictures of where you are in the current moment. Like, I posted that I went to see a movie on Monday, but I posted that picture once I got home. Like, I don't want people knowing that I'm out and about as I'm outside and about. Because even though I'm very small, I don't have any people who are causing issues, let's say. Um, but that's still a good habit that I'm trying to get into, like, to protect myself and my privacy, right? <laughs> Hi Nyx, welcome to stream, and I don't know, I can't guess who. Maybe it's you? <laughs> I need to get my um, CPR card, my first aid card, reevaluated. I really should. Okay, I'm gonna self-report a little bit. Not really my fault, but when I was working back at the daycare, my first aid card was literally expired. And they didn't pay for me to get my first aid card renewed, so... I never renewed my first aid card. <laughs> so, if anything happened, like, I knew what to do, but I wasn't certified, technically. And you are right, Benini. There are some creeps, and the creeps, they definitely would go through your archives and find shit, so. I'm very cautious. I'm not D-U-M. I'm very careful. That's another reason why I'm not having a Discord. But I feel like if I had a Discord, I would slip up. I generally feel like I would slip up. I'd probably leak something. Anyway, that was like a light, heartfelt story. Now we're talking about weirdos, so let, let's let's change the conversation. Oh, I was so annoyed. Wait, did I say this yesterday? When I went to the theater, there were kids, like, vaping in the theater. Yeah, I did say that yesterday. But, uh, Like, I understand, like, kids being rowdy, but fucking vaping in the theater? Bad. Don't do that shit. 
Did you end up eating the cherries? Um, kind of. Well, for chatters who don't know, our usual carry or our usual our usual cherry crop is like 50 pounds. But what happened this year was that it rained right when the cherries ripened, so basically they weren't harvested right away. So, like nearly 75% of our crop got moldy, so we had to throw it away. Or we put it in the compost bin. So we only got like 15 pounds this year, which is bad. Usually, thankfully we don't use it for sale, like we usually just hand it out to the neighbors. So, we, we basically handed out all of our cherries to neighbors, so we don't have any left to jam. Which is fine, because jamming is a hassle upon its own. But, so no, I didn't eat any fresh ones. And honestly, um, we personally don't eat our cherries fresh because we don't use any pesticide. Meaning, there will be bugs inside the cherry. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a funny story. Um, one of our- Because my mom gave some cherries to her friend. Um, her friend called us back and she's like, oh, um... You know, there's bugs inside your cherries, but how that works is what what happens. Like, if you look inside fruit, there's... Usually you don't see this happen with, like, store-bought fruit because they use pesticides. You might see this in organic fruit. But if there's, like, tiny holes, that's usually bugs. Meaning, um, because we have a wasp nest on our property somewhere. We can't really get rid of it. We could get an exterminator, but, you know, it's fine. It's whatever. So what happens is wasps will, like, burrow inside the cherry and then lay their eggs. So... <laughs> Um, <laughs> our friend had larvae inside her cherries, but thankfully when they're that small, they're edible, meaning they won't hurt you. It's just protein, right? Um, but the only way to avoid that is to use pesticide, which my mom is not going to use, because the pesticide will affect all of our other plants. So, yeah! <laughs> we don't eat our fruit, um, fresh. <laughs> Um, we usually will use jams or spreads or put them in pie so that because like if you bake it if you cook it then it kills all the bugs so it's fine but yeah <laughs> I know I get what you're saying Nix. like we kind of expected it this year because like you know how there's just like a heat wave in general um but it, like we thought it'd be fine because we we're waiting for the cherries to ripen because you don't want to harvest them too early um but we waited for them to harvest, but then it fucking rained on one random ass day and it fucking ruined everything. But you know, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Just protein? No, it, they're edible, like, they're not gonna kill you. Like, Chatters, like I said, if you're buying fruit from the store, you, you shouldn't have this happen because, um... They use pesticides for, like, mass-produced food, so you're fine. <laughs> I'm sick of global warming, guys, please stop. Yeah, tell Big Corpa to stop heating up the earth, then we'll be set. That's one of the biggest scams about, like, the whole recycling and conserving energy part of, like, the government. Because they kind of encourage people to recycle papers and plastics, which, yes, it does have an impact, but not as much of an impact as the mass corporations with their factories dumping in the rivers and lakes, dumping in the oceans, or using fossil fuels when they shouldn't be like those are the that's like more, that's like an ample majority of what's contributing to climate change like that's the reason like even if literally everybody recycled they wouldn't have nearly as much of an impact if there's more regulation concerning pollutions <laughs> oh oh uh oh The companies like to blame the consumers, literally, literally, literally. That's it. The chatters, I'm fixing my cam. Hold. Hold, chatters. I am a mass consumer and it's an issue. <laughs> no, no, it's not, not your fault. It's not, on an individual level, it's not your fault. Okay, where is my camera? Okay, hold- chatters hold. It, I thought I fixed it, but it's not. 
Yeah, I didn't see that video of the maggots inside the fruit, but I I, I feel like that would freak me out too. Chatter, seriously, where the fuck is my camera? Why is it reconnecting? Oh fuck, oh no. He chatters, hold, hold! <laughs> Earth is the fruit and we are the maggots? True. Snaps. Okay, legitimately, I don't know why the cam is not reconnecting. Yeah, you are right. Humans are so invasive, we literally ruined everything. Actually. Okay, I'm trying- I'm resetting my camera, guys. Hold. Hold. Imagine I become a no-cam streamer. Oh, the white balance is all fucked now. Shatters hold. <laughs> We're holding up for our hero. <laughs> Okay, well, the game cam is now frozen too. So, I think I have to unplug everything. Oh no. Okay, face cam is back now. There's a problem with Twitch, is there actually? No, Kate, no, Katie literally always has issues. <laughs> okay, camera's back! Fuck you! Okay, now we gotta get the game back. <laughs> Shatters hold. Shatters hold. <laughs> Lol. Lol of you. Okay, well, I don't. The only way for me to fix the game cam is if I end stream, which I don't want to do. So we're gonna try one more time. <gasps> oh my god! Holy shit! Chat, is it back? Is it back? Is it back? We hear it? It's back! Yay! Okay, I had to hear myself and that was cringe. <clears throat> Were we doing industrial style? That- That sounds good. I love the contrast of like, industrial interior design and then like, plants mixed in. That's like my literal dream. Decoration style. That's gonna look fucking sick. A woman in STEM. <laughs> Is that a diss or a compliment? <laughs> I'm trolling, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Yeah, I agree. I think fake plants are superior, but then... I feel like everybody would call me a phony. But also, like, real plants would be dirty. You know, because there's dirt in it. But also, they, they give you oxygen, so that's a plus. But if I get real plants, I would actually kill them. In a video game. <laughs> Compliment Lamau. Okay, good. I just want to make sure. <clears throat> We're gonna DIY a mirror? That sounds fucking sick, dude. I used to have, like, vine decorations on, like, my shelving. But then I took it down, because, like, that's kind of cliche. Because, like, I feel like every queer person has, like, plants as their decorating style. <laughs> Which is fine. Which is totally fine, but, you know, I feel like it's a bit too normy.
Hey, please don't be peach jam. Please don't be peach jam. Ooh! We got soup. Don't come for me like that. <laughs> nah, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. But honestly, isn't that like one of the social cues or the signs? Dude, I wish there was more like signs because like you know when you go in public and you see somebody and you think they might be like a little bit queer but you kind of don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't cuff my jeans because I only wear skinny jeans and those are like impossible to cuff. Wait, are these- are my glasses a tell? Are they actually? I mean, that's fine, because that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Every queer person opts for that style. Okay, well, I didn't know that. I mean, that's cool. I mean, cause like, I think I dress pretty normy. like I don't dress too artsy, actually. Wait, I didn't show you Chatter's my- my shirt. Oh no, I have to... Hold Chatter's. There we go, I am back. Okay, this shirt is actually pretty cool. So I'm wearing a tank top, and then this is like this clear mesh. I actually got this top in Japan, actually. But it kind of looks like something you'd wear over like a swimsuit, but it looks cool. I think this is like the artsiest thing I have. I, I don't wear it because I have to wear like a tank top underneath it, but thank God it's not white. Yeah, I'm not a wife beater, Chatters. Speaking of that earlier, but yeah, this, this mesh is pretty cool. Like I, I wore this today because like it's kind of breathable. Because I didn't want to wear like a full button up top. Because I wanted to wear layers. You're tired? Well, go to bed, Deacon. It's probably late for you, huh? Go to bed. Right now. Right here. Right now. My fave style is like a suburban father on a trip to Hawaii. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I have any Hawaiian shirts, surprisingly. Like, I've kind of gotten in the style of, like... I've, I'm, I dress more femme now, I've noticed. Which is fine. Because I used to dress pretty neutral in, like, middle school and high school. But I like the, like, a femme. I think it complements my body type very well. I usually don't dress up that way for stream, though, as much. It's not as comfortable to dress that way. Hi, Mikey. Welcome back. <laughs> well, why would you wear jeans? Oh, wait. Hold. No, I don't want you to hang out. I literally don't want to. You asked me yesterday. I said no. My answer is still no. <laughs> Did you end up getting any crowns? Nope. I didn't, Sag. I got close. But I think it was Crystal who donated, so I had to D.E.D. No, I like bubbles. It's just I don't I don't like the cutscene where you hang out with the villagers. It's boring. It's actually boring. Hi, pneumonia. Welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today, hun. Okay, let's let's do the Labelle mission. I always forget to do her. You hated Bubbles? What? Really? I mean, she's cute. Like, I don't like the ego- 
Wait, I'm literally skipping everything. Okay, vacation clothing. Okay, got it. We can literally get a NYX fit. The wine shirt and jeans. Okay, chatters, we're gonna get ready for vacation. Let's get up. Let's get dolled up. Let's get ready. I still want Aurora. She's still my favorite. Nobody will beat her. Oh. Okay. I think Benini has confirmed that they are an introvert. They don't like talking to people. <laughs> okay, let's change our fit. Actually, the bow kind of matches. You look like the girl from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> oh my god, I do. <laughs> Okay, let's change our pants. I don't have many pants, actually. That tan is kind of nice. Ooh, I like that white pant. I literally- I had jeans just like this one. They were bright as fuck. Um, they were regular blue jean with white, and then neon pink roses on them. They were way too bright. And I would wear it with this bright coral tank top to school in middle school. It looked so bad. Okay, I think this is pretty solid. Honestly. That's not a good fit? Well, I don't like the top. No, why are people here? I don't want people here. I don't want to hang out. I don't want to hang out. I hate when people just invite themselves over. It's literally so fucking cringe. We are not five years old anymore. You cannot just come over to my house. Like, literally, get the fuck out of here, Kevin, dude. At least he took his shoes off. I, I'm a no-shoe-in-my-household type of person. Okay, th this is the best I could do with this top. I don't- it, like, you can't do anything too extra. Like, it's pretty neutral. You wear your shoes on the bed sometimes? Well, actually, what is wrong with you, Deacon? Do you wear, like, your outside shoes inside and on the fucking bed? What the actual fuck? What is wrong with you people? I don't- I never understand the people who wear shoes inside. I genuinely don't understand them. Like, there's so much, like, bad germs outside. Like, you're probably, like, stepping in dog shit by accident. You don't ever realize it. But on the bed? Ugh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, I'm actually gonna run a poll. And run from dirt. Because, <laughs> like, I can't be shitting on just Deacon too much. Do you wear shoes inside your home? Yeah, I do the same thing to do- I do the same thing too, Benini. Like, I don't wear anything outside, inside. Because, like, my bed is my safe space, I don't want outside germs on it. The only place that I sit inside with outside clothes on is in the living room, like, dining table. Okay, chatters, go vote in that poll. Do you wear shoes inside your house? What is wrong with you guys? Why- Why is there so many people who wear shoes inside? Okay, I had a friend over, right? And they were sitting on my couch in my bed with their fucking outside clothes on, and I got fucking mad. And they were getting pissy with me, they're like, it's clean. I was like, bitch! Those are still outside clothes! You still wear your shoes inside? Okay, Benini, you had me, then you didn't have me. Okay, we have two people on my side. The rest of you guys are fucking degens. Wait, I get so mad at my dad, because we have- we're a no-shoe household, right? But he won't, like, wipe off- his shoes before he steps in the house. So our entry doorway is just covered with mud. Covered with fucking dirt. I have to sweep it out every day. It's annoying as all hell. 
Okay, that's why, Nyx, when you're bringing in groceries, you wear slippers, you wear flip flops. Then you're solid, you're set. On and off, on and off. Deacon, Mikey's talking about their toes, obviously. Obvi. Okay, Chad, let's go vote in that poll. We need everybody to go vote in that poll. Pokemon, go to the polls. Oh, I get that, Benini. Like, the only, like, dirty floor in our house is by the fucking doorway. Because my dad doesn't wipe off his shoes. You don't own flip-flops? We'll get some. Flip-flops are great. Ice build water. Okay, we'll chat. It seems the majority of you guys are fucking filthy and disgusting. Wearing shoes inside your house, inside your safe space? Disgusting. You know what else is disgusting? Watching ads on Twitch. So... <laughs> oh. We are an hour in this- another hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. Um, after the ad break, we're gonna switch gears to art, because we had Deacon Redeem, I will draw sketch cards. So, Chatters, that is a new stream segment. So basically, we're gonna do about, like, 20-30 minutes of art. So stick around after that ad break. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for just $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee today and get ad reviewing all month long. Also, today is the last day of Amazon Prime Day, so... If you, have, if you have an Amazon Prime, link it to your Twitch if link it, <laughs> I'm talking too fast. Link it to your Twitch account and get free Prime sub every month. And, exclusive to Amazon Prime members, if you purchase a $100 gift card, you get 20% off, meaning you spend 80 bucks, you get $100 for Twitch. Crazy. Today's your last day to redeem that coupon. Not sponsored, it's just a fucking crazy deal. Aw, okay. I appreciate the decom. We'll see you next time, hun. Feel free, lurk. I hope you rest easy. Okay. Anyway, chatters. That ad break is coming. Get a snack, get some water if you need it. Like I said, we're gonna continue with art right after the ad break. Hi, Raven. Hope you're doing well today, hun. Yeah, I agree, Mikey. Your house is your safe place. You should keep it clean. All of the chatters self-reporting and saying that they proudly wear shoes inside the house. Tracking in every single germ from outside inside kind of cringe. Okay For the people who wear shoes inside Do you walk around barefoot because if you're walking around barefoot in your house that also wears shoes inside you're stepping on all the germs from outside That's what I don't understand. I Know we're shitting on the shoe wearers, but I feel like it's valid <laughs> Okay, let, let, let's stop trashing on them <laughs> let, Let's hold back a little and by let's, I mean me. I just don't care. Fuck. Jern's ignore me because you're cool. Keep telling yourself though, Mocha. Keep, you're, you're literally coping. Oh, all these shoe wearers are self-reporting? Oh my god. I'm gonna get some music to talk to you guys. Yeah, I agree, Raven. There's so many people inside your house. I've never when I if I go to a shoe wearing house insiders, I keep my shoes on, I never take them off. Cause like I said, imagine walking around barefoot where people have stepped around inside. Fucking gross. Guys, keep in mind, I'm not gonna see you guys any differently on an individual level. I'm just gonna think you're gross. <laughs> okay, I'm setting up that second camera for art. So hold chatters. Also, is the music at a good level? I think it's good. It's not the same level it was yesterday. Dude, I'm clickbaiting the shit out of my title. It's so cringe, but you know what? It's fine. To make a moss rug, do it. It would match your aesthetic of the room, right? Okay, so chatters. What we're doing now 
is we have a new channel point redemption to where chatters can make me draw a sketch card. I'm gonna go ahead and thank you, Benini. I appreciate the reassurance. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some examples so you guys can get an idea of what we're doing. <clears throat> okay. So. I need to reorganize my room again. Oh my god. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. So what we're doing now is <clears throat> once the stream chatters can redeem with their channel points, we'll make a sketch card. I have more info on my Twitter, but these are called ATCs or artist trading cards. They are 2.5 by 3.5. Little sketch cards. I personally prefer abstract or pattern design work. Those are my personal favorites. These are some that I made last year. And I kind of fell out of art. I've been on an art block. So this stream segment is more to get me into art again. There we go. I think this one right here. Oh, no. This one is my favorite. Anyway, so those are some examples. We're gonna go ahead and make a new card today. So, okay, I need to actually hear the music. I forgot. It's in the different pair of headsets. Where's the song from? Let's actually see. This is from Donkey Kong Country. Thank you, I appreciate it. Nixie yeah, asked for it is from Donkey Kong. You got it right. Hey, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna get our camp set. Hi, Mikey. <laughs> okay, so I got all my supplies here. Um, I personally prefer microns. These are fine liner black pens. It's not going to focus. But if you look at my microns, you'll notice how I have different colors on the tips. It's because the way I organize my pens is I will organize the color from like smallest to largest tip size. That way I don't have to look at the actual like tip width length. So I think it's a lot easier for me that way I can like, oh, visibly if it's on my table. I'd be like, oh, red is the smallest one, and then purple is my largest pen. So that's kind of what I did to make organizing it easier for me. A little hack for you guys. Yeah, big brain. Smart. Okay. Okay, now you guys can actually see me. Okay, let's get started. So I pre-cut some blank cards. Like I said, they are 2.5 by 3.5. If you want more information on ATCs or artist trading cards, there we go. I linked the ATCs for all FAQ page. It'll give you a brief exclamation or explanation. The camera section is, I keep hitting it, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, there we go, that's better. The music was too loud on my end. Um, Anyway, it'll give you a bit more info about ATCs and the whole trading community. Okay, let's get started, for real. So, when I do these abstract cards, I usually will start off doing, like, sketches and doodles. So this was my initial sketch page to kind of concept out the stencils for the wallpaper. See this pattern here? The, um, sunshine one? It's actually this initial sketch right here. See? Because, like, this is my initial, like, brainstorming process. I usually start off with, like, a shape here. Like, for this pattern, I started off with circles, and then I did, like, petals on the outside. This one, I did squares, and then that kind of border rectangle. Yeah, this one, this one's cool. It's kind of, like, flower-y. But I try to be careful to not use any symbol that has four... How do I see it? Four points on it? Because it looks like... N-A-Z-I shit. So, that one was scrapped. <laughs> um, 
Anything with four points, I don't do. Because I... Uh, you don't want to allude to shit, right? Yeah, oh. <laughs> You're like, oh shit! Um, so, I have an idea for... <laughs> uh, I have an idea for what I want to do today. It's, I didn't sketch it out, but it's kind of similar to this one. So, what I usually do with my blank sketch card is I will mark the halfway and then the quarter mark. So half of 2.5 is 1.25. So one and a quarter inch, so right here. Chatters, if you are artsy... Wait, this card is crooked. Shit, I'm gonna have to trim this one. This one is actually crooked. You might not see it, but... This right here is 2.5, meaning this card is cut crooked. Dude, I really messed up on that one. I need to go get scissors. <laughs> because, um, I use a paper cutter. <laughs> But it's old, and the more you use a paper cutter, it usually gets, like, crooked over time. So I, I need to buy a new one for my mom. Because my mom, she's artsy as well, so she, she literally has, like, infinite art supplies in the house that I have, like, full disposal of. It's crazy. Okay, there we go. That's trim now. Perfect. Okay, so we need half of 2.5, which is 1.25 inches right here. So what I do to start is I usually draw a line through both halves. That way I can get an idea of where the center point is. I thought the cards had faces on them. Oh, so, um... How the cards work is the one, the portrait cards are specifically if you gift um, five subs. And then the sketch cards are just normal abstract cards. So they're separate. Here, I'll link the two separate stuff for you next. This is the gifted cards, the first one. And then this second one is for the sketch cards. Because I want to get used to doing art more on stream. So half of 3.5 is 1.75, so right here. So right now we're doing the channel redemption card. Because I wanted to do it that way, that way chat could decide what days we do art and what days we don't. So essentially we're gonna do art on days where we don't do you laugh lose. Okay, so right now... Well, you can't really see... Let's, act, let's turn this light. I think it's a bit too harsh. Okay. Still a bit bright. That's the only difficulty thing with this setup, is that I can't zoom in. Anyway, on this card... I, <laughs> I have drawn a center point. Let's turn the light off, actually. Oh, uh, I drew really- oh wait, you can see it, we can see it right here. See, I did the line down the center, that we can see the center point, the center axis. Okay. Oh my god! Holy shit! Thank you for the gifted sub, Emmy. I appreciate that, hun. We're doing art right now. Oh my god. I hope you're doing well today, hun. Okay, so. It is gonna be hard to see because I am starting off with a pencil. But the idea I had is I want to do... I want to divide this section into thirds. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. I don't want it to be too perfect. It's fine if it's not perfect. There we go. <clears throat> What's nice about having the triangle ruler is that it's a lot easier to establish and find right angles. A lot easier to like line up the sections. You may not see it on screen, but in order for me to get straight lines, let me actually sew it on this camera. But in order to get straight lines consistently... 
There it is. You can kind of see here, the line right here. I lined it up at the edge of the card. That way I consistently get nice perpendicular lines. It's a little subtle trick to make sure your stuff is more consistent. So, my guidelines, like I said, I divided the section down the middle and then into six sections. <laughs> yeah, Moki, you got lucky, hun. Enjoy your sub emotes. So, the idea I had is I wanted to do circles. I do have a circle stencil that I can grab. I'm just basically placing stuff on the paper right now. And then... Just so we can get a basic idea of how I want placement to go. And then... Oh, you literally can't see shit. Okay, I'm gonna sketch out what I'm gonna do in pen. That way you guys can actually see what I want to do. That's why I didn't like doing art as much, because like the pencil process takes a long time. And it's hard to see. Okay, so what I want to do... Essentially. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making a thumbnail sketch to way that we can basically see what I'm doing. So I wanted to do something like this. It kind of looks like, you know those paddles in the pinball machines that go like, right? That go like this? I kind of want it to be that shape. Have you shared? Yeah, my birthday is April 24th. It was a few months ago. Yeah, because like my thing is, I feel like birthdays are, like that doesn't have to be kept private. I feel like it's whatever. I've already leaked my age, so it's like, why not leak the actual day? <laughs> so like, this is the concept that I'm going for. Right here. So it kind of looks like those paddles you see on pinball machines. It also kind of looks like, like a baseball ball whizzing past you like those are like action lines so that that's kind of the concept i'm going for okay we i should have started off with that <laughs> so th that's the idea i have because <laughs> with these sketch cards they're small so it's a nice way to like get a simple idea on paper okay so now now that i showed you guys the concept <laughs> of what this is gonna be but you can kind of see my pencil lines a bit better now. Because I can't change the white balance on the second cam. <clears throat> okay. So. I think an interesting look would be instead of alternating, like I have here, maybe doing... Something like that. I think that would be good. Okay. I'm gonna actually get my circle stencil, that way I can actually draw on the circles. Oh, look at this! Look at this shit! This stencil is crazy. I can't find this stencil anywhere. My mom got it back in like fucking 2005. Because all of our art supplies are old. That's when like shit was good. That's when like high quality- this is nice plastic. I can't even snap it if I wanted to. Um. But she has like three of these stencils, all with different circle sizes, and they say the actual size of the circle, like how many inches and centimeters it is, it's crazy. It's a fucking nice ass stencil. She would kill me if I lost it. In a video game. In Minecraft. Okay. So let's find a circle that fits. I think this one, the 390. So I'm going to go in with my 0 0.05 micron liner. Now, I want to make sure all of these are lined up. So I'm actually going to go in with my ruler and draw a guideline for the edge of the circle. Minecraft stream went never. I'm literally never going to play Minecraft. Literally never. It's not happening, bud. How about a million subs and I'll do it? <laughs> What was our other sub goal for Millie? What was it? I forgot. Okay, I'm gonna add a guideline here. And then the opposite side to make sure our circles are lined up properly. 
Is it helpful that I'm narrating? I don't know. I know some people are listening, so this is definitely more of a visual segment. And then it was the 390. Here we go, the first circle down. Okay, and also chatters, when you're using a stencil, you, okay, it's kind of hard to see on cam, but when you run your utensil, see how I'm turning my wrist to change the angle of the point of the pen? Because if you just go like this, your shape is not going to be as consistent versus if you move your tip of your utensil around the, the furthermost edge of your stencil. That's how you get a more consistent shape. Would I ever do a movie night stream? Um, I, I think that would have to be a Discord thing, right? I know you can get sponsored to do like an Amazon watch night thing, so that'd be pretty poggy if I am ever able to do that. So I don't know how you can really do that if you're not like watching the same screen. And like do it legally, I, I mean. I don't want to get copyrighted. Thankfully, that hasn't happened yet. Ooh. There we go. We've got our first line of circles. Okay, so now I'm going to add some guidelines across this way. To make sure our circles line up. Yeah, people who do movie nights, um, it's kind of tricky. You want to make sure you avoid infringing on copyright. That's my main concern. Because I, I watched, I think it was Will Neff who was doing like an Amazon Prime watch along of the boys. But in order for that to work, people, the viewers have to have a Prime account as well. Like it doesn't actually screen share the, the movie that they're watching. So it's a lot of logistical stuff that I have to make sure is I'm not gonna get like in legal trouble trouble if I do. So I think it'd be fun because oh my god, I am literally so annoying when I go to the movies or when I watch a movie, even like on the couch at home. I have the inclination to commentate during the movie. I'm like this fucking annoying ass middle aged dad who just won't shut the fuck up during a movie. That's literally me. I've become my dad. Okay, so I've added my guidelines, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw the circles in now. So the whole concept of doing these sketch cards is, like I said, they're smaller thumbnails ideas to be done into like fully fleshed paintings. So what I wanna do when we do unlock weekly art streams, that is a sub goal, Chatters. That is one of the long-term sub goals I have because I don't wanna start streaming four days a week just yet. But what we're gonna do is throughout the week, if we make sketch cards, the final art stream of the week, chatters will vote which sketch card gets made into like a fully fleshed abstract painting. So that is the one long-term thing I'm working on. Okay, there we go. So that is what we have so far. <laughs> we are 20 minutes in and this is what we got. <laughs> Okay, so we have our circles. They're all lined up properly. They're all lined up nicely. Look at that. Okay. Like I said, art takes some wild chatters. Like, people don't realize, especially with the rise of digital art, people don't realize how much time and effort goes into art pieces, honestly. Okay, we can turn this light on. Since we have our pen down. There we go, that's a little bit better. Okay, so now, what I'm gonna do, because remember how I wanted to do like this type of shape right here? Kind of like shrinking from large to small. So I'm gonna draw diagonal lines on the opposite edge of the circles, just in pencil to kind of rough out where I want those strokes to go. 
I'll show this on the big full cam in a second. That way we can kind of see. Because I know pencil is hard to see with the second cam. Okay. Yeah, hypothetically, yes. If we hit all those sub goals, I would queue up those bonus streams. But you are right, next. Okay, so this is the lines I drew. You see how they're kind of... They look like cones, almost, right? So that'll be my guideline for all those smaller shapes. Those kind of like half moody shapes. So now that I have those guidelines, which liner should I go in with? I kind of want to go in with a slightly bigger one. Because my red micron, I need to buy a new one. Because, you know when you buy like the ultra fine tip sharpies and the, spl and the tip splits? This tip is splitting, so I need to grab a new one later. Okay. So... Oh, I'm nervous. I hate going in with a pen. It's so scary. Okay, let's go. So I'm kind of going in with this half crescent. You know what this kind of looks like? This kind of looks like the full moon and then like the crescent moon. That's what it kind of looks like. Okay, I'm going to go in, add all these half moon shapes to all of these. That way I make sure they're lined up properly. And about the same size. The nice thing about these sketch cards is that they're not meant to be fully fleshed out illustrations for the most part. Um, exclamation card in chat for more info. The site that I initially found out about ATCs on, everybody on that site is pretty hardcore. They're all kind of like middle-aged boomers, let's say. And they take shit way too seriously sometimes, but there are some nice like illustrated cards. Not a lot of people on the site did abstract work, so a lot of people liked my cards. I think my profile is still up, actually, but I haven't posted on the site for, like, nearly two years now. Because I just don't trade cards anymore. Because I don't have a P.O. box, so I don't feel comfortable mailing out cards anymore. Um, but it's a nice site if you want to casually get into art again. Okay, so I've added... My first round of those crescent half moony shapes because the idea because the cone guideline will make it seem like it's shrinking towards the center because I, I personally love like symmetrical art pieces like this it's almost trippy kind of okay let's add the next row at the end I'm gonna fill these all in with black because I think for this specific piece if I added color I think it would distract too much from the actual silhouette and the shape of the final design. If this does become a fully fleshed painting, I think this would look kind of interesting if it was like a rainbow chrome or a gradient between like warmer colors and then a gradient between cooler colors. Because this shape kind of inherently implies that it's going to be a gradient color shift. Dude, I'm using so many art terms. My professors would be so proud of me right now. Imagine they're watching. They'd be like, Megan, you didn't turn in your homework on Sunday. And I'd be like, you're right. <laughs> Fuck it. I've, I've talked about it before, but I'm kind of at the point where, like, I'm happy with a fucking D. D for the diploma, am I right? <laughs> they better sub if they're watching true. Any professors in chat, fucking subscribe. It's free if you sub with Prime. It kind of looks like an ice cream cone, doesn't it? This way? <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's keep going. But I think my favorite part when I back when I used to do the art streams is just talking about my process. There's this one document document documentary series on Netflix that is pretty good. It interviews artists and their kind of art process. They are they're all kind of pretentious, but you know that's how a lot of like mainstream artists are. Let's be honest. But it's just nice to hear people talk about something that they're passionate about, right? Like, the people who are, like, into art are, like, into art. And it's fun hearing them talk. What do you search up for the music playlist? I just searched Nintendo compilation. Or, like, Nintendo music. And, like, all the videos I found are, like, hour-long comps. Another round? Oh, that's not lining up. 
Fuck. I didn't line that up properly. Oh well. Too late. Like I said, if I do make this into a full flesh painting, it'll be all lined up. I'll have to use like actual gritting and shit. Dodge. I mean, gritting is good. It allows for more consistency in your work, so it's fine. Okay. So I think that's the final, I guess, crescent circle I want to do. But see how... That silhouette looks nice, right? Even though it's not filled in, you can see that the... This shape is shrinking right towards the center. It makes it feel like it's pulling you in. A big reason why I like, um, I dropped my cap. No cap, I dropped my cap. A big reason why I like abstract work and I don't like realism or realistic renderings is because abstract, I think, you have to have a greater understanding of design as to why things look good and the reason why they look good. Because anybody can, I think that's a big reason why people shit on abstract work too. Because abstract work has to be done well in order for it to look good. Like, you see the where, like, the modern art where it's, like, just literally paint on a, like, paint splattered on a canvas? I think that is dog shit. Because, to me, every single stroke you do with any art piece has to have intent, has to have meaning behind it. Um, so, like, the people who just splatter stuff on a canvas, there's very limited intent because you can only control, you can only control so much of, like, the direction that the paint will land, or the way it'll splatter to an extent. So, I think those pieces are dog shit. I, I think, not that anybody can do them, like, there's still a level of skill to them, to make the composition look decent. But, to me, it's not as well rendered as, let's say, somebody somebody doing, like, an illustration for, like, a keychain. Because there's a lot more intent when it comes to, like, Lauren art and, like, color theory, that type of thing. Anyway, that's my take. I don't like modern art for the most part. I, I think abstract is heavily confused with modern art, and they are vastly different. Okay, so anyway, enough ranting. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase my pencil lines. I need to find my eraser, actually. Dude, literally, where's my eraser? I used it yesterday. What the fuck? Huh? Mod check eraser? Dude, actually, where is it? Oh no. Oh no. Hey chatters, while I'm looking, if you want a portrait sketch card done, all you have to do is gift five subs to the channel. Easy clap. Dude, actually, where the fuck is my eraser? Dude, it was like my favorite eraser too. Wait, I think I know where it is. I found it. <laughs> it was literally shoved under a pile of binders and books because when I cleaned my room yesterday, I just shoved everything in a pile. Saved. Okay, camera might shake. Don't fucking lose your mind, chatters. A thing I have to be careful with because I have painted nails, right? It's very easy to like run your nail across the paper, therefore getting nail polish on your piece so, I have to be very careful. Because, see, you might not notice it, but you know when you hold stuff, you instinctively hold it by your nails? When you're holding your paper chat, just hold it by the pads of your fingers. Like, the... This part? Like, don't hold it like this. Hold it by the pads. I don't know. It's a little shit you have to be careful of when you're working small. It's very easy to fuck up. Like, you know when you're drawing something and you erase and you fucking tear your paper? It's that type of shit, you gotta be careful. Okay, so I erased my pencil lines. So this is what we got so far. Very simple, but you know, still pretty expressive in the movement. Because to me, a good abstract piece has to have movement in it. It kind of directs your eyes naturally. So when you look at this, right? We're actually gonna fill these circles in with black in a second. But it kind of directs your eyes towards the center. 
Usually the pieces that are where the direction guides you to the center are very amateur, people would say, but I think for this specific design, it's fine. Yeah, I'm going to go in with a Sharpie. I'm not going to fill in with my macrons because I'm not psychotic. I'm not going to waste my ink. Oh, this is a n new sh This is... Dude, I cannot fucking talk today, bruh. This is a new Sharpie. Okay, a thing you may notice when I use pens, I typically rotate my paper if I'm doing larger strokes. And when I'm filling in with marker, I usually will fill in along the border. I find that I usually stay inside the lines a little bit better versus just going like this from the get-go. It's little tips and tricks you do without realizing that beginner artists don't really realize you're doing too. So, because I used to work at a daycare, right? So I worked with children from the ages of 5 to 13. And I hosted like little art lessons with them. Granted, it was like simple shit, right? Um, sorry, I'm, I'm reading your message, Ashlyn. It's great, it's great. Um, so it's like little things you do when you're drawing that newbies will have no idea that you're doing. And like, it's subtle things that'll make your process a little bit easier and will allow for less mistakes. Yeah, because see, even just filling in those three. See how much that changes it, right? With just that solid fill. nice Aslan. but yeah it's it's i think it's interesting that people have to basically report to their neighbors that they're convicted of said crime but i live fairly close to a school and there was a guy who lived like a street away from the school who was a registered offender and i don't understand how that's okay like bruh you literally live like two houses away from a fucking school Anyway, that's a that's enough story time for me on that. Cause I remember the parents were freaking out because they're like, "Why is a registered offender living near the school?" <laughs> it's crazy shit. Yeah, what could go wrong? I know. Seriously, I was like, literally, how is this person allowed to live there? I think a big reason why I haven't done art in a long time is because it's very overwhelming. Like anytime you start a piece, you feel like you either have to finish it or it has to be like the next best the next the next best piece you've ever done. But what's nice about these sketch cards is they're kind of meant to be throwaway pieces in the sense of you don't have to take it too seriously. So if your stroke isn't too nice or you mess up, it's fine. Like you're not wasting a whole as canvas, you're wasting a 2.5 by 3.5 piece of paper. Also, chat, what do you think of my stream title? Isn't it fucking good? <laughs> Isn't it fucking baity as all hell? I think it's funny. <clears throat> I mean, I'm indifferent. Like, I don't like how workplaces will discriminate people who are convicted. Of even, like, if they did face jail time. Um. Because... What happens is, like, when people are released from jail, they fall into that cycle again because, like, it's nearly impossible to get hired if you have a previous conviction, along with not having an, a mailing address, too. So, it's unfortunate. I think it'd be cool if there was a program integrated at the national level to where you'd have a guaranteed job after you served your time. I think that'd be really beneficial to society as a whole, keeping people out of that system. But, you know, America, we're not there yet, so, such. Thank you, Aslan. I think I'm pretty good at art, too. <laughs> I would like to clarify, Aslan and I are cool. They're okay to be a little bit weird, champ. They're not too weird. Because <laughs> I think Aslan... Literally, Aslan, your, your humor is exactly like my IRL. Like, I definitely toned my shit down for stream, but that's why I find your shit funny. It's good. Hey, is this Animal Crossing music? I think this is nighttime music, yeah? 
Okay. We've filled in all our circles now. See, even if- okay. The thing about line art that I find really interesting is see like these smaller sections aren't filled in, but they look kind of gray, right? That's the, one of the big things I love about line art is the distance between your strokes and your lines will determine how shaded things look from a distance from here. It just looks like black dots, right? But when you look in, you, it looks more gray, right? The middle section is interesting. That's why I personally am a big fan of line art. I feel like it's a lot more... I guess expressive at its core. That's why like if you look at my Instagram, I used to post art there. I don't I haven't posted art in a while because I don't draw as much anymore. Right now I'm filling in the little half moon crescent sections. Um But if you look at some of my old art, it's usually just black and white line art, because I think just on its own black and white is already pretty contrasting because there's two colors on the opposite spectrum, right? And I think with line art, especially when you're using it to emulate people or animals, the weight of your stroke, like the thick or thinness of the actual line, adds depth to, already to it. Because there was a time in my life where I tried to learn caricature. I think it'd be fun if we ever did get to a point where we had like a discord. Like I think it'd be a fun stream to do like live caricatures. That way I could be in like video calls or VCs of viewers and I could draw a caricature live, I think that'd be a really fun stream. But in order to do something like that, we'd have to have... Because a caricature, like an actually fully rendered one, if you're doing just line art, probably takes 10 minutes. So like, we'd have to have a guaranteed probably like 20 people show up for that stream to do portraits. So like I said, that, that would be a fun stream once we have more people. Okay. As they stop, that's not nice. That's a bad joke. I'm not laughing. Okay, so I filled in the top section for those crescent shapes, right? See how it drastically looks different? It still looks kind of gray filled in, but it's not as gray because I filled it in, you know? But see how just filling in that line drastically changes the shade? Yeah, you're right. I could do a zoom call, but then I'd have to have people sign up and it's like, ah. Uh, it's like so much logistic stuff that would be hard to do on my own, so I would need like... Ideally what I want for a stream, if I ever get to a point where like I could have like one staff member, like an assistant or something... I would like to fully produce shit. Like you see like the small streamers who do like collab shows, I would like to do stuff like that. But I would want to do it with viewers, I wouldn't want to do it with other streamers. Um... So I feel like the people who do collab shows, there's like an extent of... Of like fakeness to it. But I feel like viewers would be more genuine. Like, I know for me, I personally love um, Pay Money Webby stuff. I usually watch his YouTube, but I usually watch, like, the... When he does stuff with viewers, like, he'll, like, bring people into, like, a Zoom call and they'll play a game or do a challenge or something. And I think it's really fun. Because your viewers are the people who like you. Those are the people who will show up for you when in return other personalities or content creators, like... You don't know if they're there for the right reasons. That's why I'm kind of... Like I said yesterday, I'm kind of hesitant to doing collab stuff. Cause like, it's not that I have clout to leech off of, you know? So... Who'd want to talk to me anyway? And the one time I did a collab show, it was back in February, like, it went fine, but some stuff wasn't ideal. Like, I feel like I did a lot in terms of prep. I was literally called in to be a guest, like, four hours before the stream actually started, and I did so much prep. I had props, I had jokes lined up that I writ- that I wrote in, like, four hours. And I felt underappreciated, cause my jokes were fucking good! Okay, so now it's all filled in. You know what would be cool? If I added like a, a bright blue drop shadow to some of these circles. I feel like the black and white, it does look good. A lot of contrast, but it's not as dynamic as it could be. I'm only here to prof when you become a big time millionaire streamer. I mean, sure, you can say like, I was here, you know. Do we have any founder badges in chat? I think... I know some people lurk, which is fine, but I think the person who consistently comes in who has a founder badge is Emmy. So shout outs to Emmy. Okay, let's see. What I kind of want to add. Ooh, I think, uh, I don't know. Like an interesting shape. I'm going to draw it out off the paper. So that way, if I don't like it, I can scratch it. 
So I think an interesting shape. Let's just do a quick thumbnail. So this is essentially the shape we have now, right? Like, I, maybe a shape that runs along like this, along the center. See that kind of shape? Like, just along here. Like, kind of like this. But I feel like that split... I, I think it would split the card too much visually. I don't think I'll like that afterwards I do it. Remember when they announced that you could change who has the Founder Badge? I thought that was kind of crazy. Like, just choosing who gets the Founder Badge. I would never change my Founder Badges. I've decided I'm not going to change them. Because I think it's important to acknowledge the people who were there for your first affiliate stream. You know, because I, I think I got five subs. Or, no, I got four unique subs on my first affiliate stream, which is a lot, mind you, which is a lot. Um, some people go for a while with get, without getting a sub. Um, like, I'm not going to take it away from those people who were there, right? Okay, I don't know what I want to do. Oh, wait, I think I know what I want to do. I think what I want to do is, in this section here, do a kind of shape like this. See that shape right here? Like, in the opposite sections, do like a cone shape. I think that would be good. Okay, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna do that. It's different than the original plan, but I like it. It's gonna look cool. It's gonna fill in the kind of like empty white space. Because I think when you do black and white pieces, if there's too much negative space, negative space is the white space. If there's too much of that, then it makes it look empty. It kind of takes away the depth. Okay. So right now I'm drawing a guideline. That way all of my little kind of cone shapes line up. Oh, what's going to do? It's going to leave like this white line in the center though. Ooh, it's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. Oh, that is a crooked line. You like the art portion? Thank you. Like I said, I wanted to integrate art industry more because, like, I'm like I said, I kind of want to go back to my roots, and like I need to be drawing more. But I agree, it's like I said, my favorite part of stream was definitely calligraphy. But an additional art segment, I think, will be good for me. Because the nice thing about these sketch cards is that they help you flesh out ideas quickly. Like, even though- how long have we been drawing for chatters? Nearly 30 minutes now? Fuck. Oh my god, 45 minutes! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Um, I think it's kind of cool. I know for me as a creator, like an artist, I like hearing people's art process. I think it's nice and interesting to see how they think and how their process is. Okay. So I've kind of penciled in these cone shapes. They're kind of crooked, but you know it's fine. Oh yeah, Moki, you've been here all night, honey! <laughs> I hope you don't have much to do later today. So I have I've penciled in those cone sections. Yeah, I agree, Mac. Like, I wish I could get into sports, but okay, I can watch sports in person, but not on the TV. Because I feel like on the TV there's a level of disconnect. But in person, I think watching sports is fun. Like if... Yeah, I was gonna say, if any simps want to take me to a baseball game, I'd go. But chatters don't do that, that's cringe. I'm not looking for a date, okay? <laughs> okay. So... Ooh, you know what might be an actually, like, a, a more interesting shape? If... Okay, I'm gonna sketch it out on the journal. Because <laughs> right now... I have this kind of cone shape, right? But what if instead I did a concave cone and then an oval? Because right now this is what I have. It's actually. You can see that shape difference? That way I can kind of fill in that middle section with a circle. I think this shape would be more interesting. Just looking at it, yeah. Because it fills in a lot more negative space that way. I think I'll go with this shape instead. Okay. 
Yeah, I would love to go to sports games, but like, I'm also still scared of pandemic. Like, when I went to the theater, I had my mask on the whole time, because like, I'm still scared, because like, the new variant is popping off. And like, I'm boosted as much as I can be, but still I'm scared. Because like, bruh, I know some people who can't smell, and I'm like, I don't want that to happen. Like, if you can't smell, you can't eat, and I love eating. Chatters, don't call me fat, you'll get banned. But imagine not tasting? Dude, I would die. In a video game! Okay, so I changed the shape. To have a concave cone shape instead. And then a circle inside. You see how that automatic- or it already fills more negative space now? I like that. Okay, we'll go with that shape. <clears throat> okay, let's start filling in. I'm still surprised those kids in the theater didn't get caught for vaping. Like, I'm genuinely surprised. I was debating whether or not I wanted to snitch on them, but I was kind of scared. <laughs> it looks like the nanobox from Big Hero 6. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Hi, Shroom. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. And hi, Potato. Welcome in. Okay, my one point micron is also splitting. I think I bought a new set the other week, so I can swap them out tomorrow. But as with most artists, I feel like most people use their supplies till they're on their last leg. Like, I have some brush pens that are literally DED, that are literally dead. But I keep using them, because it's nice, because like even though it's supposed to be like a solid black pen, when it's dying, it gives like this really... Almost gray black and it's pretty. So I use it for like shading. <laughs> snitch? Don't snitch. Throw popcorn at them? Okay, I think well I didn't have any popcorn. I have Olive Garden. Wait, Aslane, were you here for the I snuck Olive Garden into the theater story? <laughs> Eat they okay, got it, boss. Well, I snuck an Olive Garden into the theater yesterday. I didn't eat it. Um TLDR the story. My sister and I bought Olive Garden before, and we were like, shit, well, we have leftovers, what are we gonna do? For context, I don't have a vehicle, I can't drive, neither can my sister. So we were like, we're gonna go to the store, buy something, request a big bag, and then sneak in the food into the theater and hope they don't search our bags. But yeah, I snuck in Olive Garden to the theater. It was so funny, because we could smell it. I bet the people sitting next to us could fucking smell our bag. But dude, imagine eating like a full five-course dinner in a theater. I bet some theaters offer that, huh? It was when I was failing at Mario Kart? No, I was winning at Mario Kart. You're, you're capping. Yeah. I think people don't understand the full effects of vaping yet because it's still fairly new. Ooh, look at that. See how that changes the composition? Ooh, that looks so cool. That was a good decision on my part. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? I forgot. Oh, like, oh, what I was gonna say, with these abstract pieces, since you don't have, like, a fully fleshed idea when you start, you can kind of see where it takes you. That's why I like abstract a lot. Because I know I'm the type of person I love planning, I hate when my schedule gets interrupted. But with this type of stuff, I usually go with the flow more. kind of helps me let go a little bit. Not to... Where I try not to be too overbearing, I guess. Okay. So with these Micron markers, they are waterproof, which is cool. So these are nice if you are doing like... Wait. They're not watercolor. I said the wrong thing. They're pigment. So it's kind of like a Sharpie to where if you run water over, it won't bleed. So Micron liners are really good if you're doing like watercolor. So if you're doing like line art and then you do watercolor over it, if you, they don't really work as well with um, like the brush pens because the way that the brush pens work is that you have to put pressure with your brush tip 
So he usually picks up the black pigment. So <laughs> literally me, Asley. Well, what's your question, Mac? Don't ask if, or don't say you have a question. Just ask. Just ask. Hey, chatters. This segment is going a lot longer than I thought it would. So, Sag. <laughs> We're definitely gonna hit four hours today. Fuck. Dude, I was supposed to go grocery shopping today. Frick. Dude, I was getting so fucking annoyed at my sister. Because I texted her. I was like, hey, I'm gonna go grocery shopping today. So text me what you want. And then she kept texting me. She's like, hey, do we have this? Do we have this? I was like, bitch, I'm gonna go grocery shopping when you get home. So fucking wait. Until we actually see what we have in the fridge. Instead of asking me every five seconds. Um, I think it's fine. I know, Mac. I'm- I'm literally- okay, self-report. I'm literally best friends with my, um, previous partner. We- We talk every day still. I've been told to stop, but also, like, I'm not gonna end a friendship just because we broke up, right? I think that's not cool. Granted, I've never been in a relationship where it's ended on a really bad note. So I think it's fine, Mac. As long as you guys respect that it's not a date. And communicate that appropriately. I think it's fine. Like, I can understand not wanting to talk to your partner if it ended on a bad note. But if you ended things maturely, I think it's fine. You can still hang out. You can still talk. Yeah, I agree. Not everything has to be a date. Dating is cringe. I think using the label of a date puts too much pressure. Because, like, I don't think I've ever been, like, on a traditional date where you, like, dress up and go out to eat at a fancy place. I've never had that shit happen. It's just, like, casual shit. Like, hanging out more so. I think it's also because I'm younger. Like, I don't have that kind of traditional mindset anyway. So I think it's fine. Oh, fuck. I messed up the line. Okay, what I do like about working in black and white, I just realized it's kind of off cam. <clears throat> yeah, Mac, if you need, if you're not trying to be weird, and if you communicate that properly, it's fine. And as long as they understand it's not for like romantic reasons, it's fine. Oh, I mean, when I think of putting effort, like, you know when you see those cliche, like, dates where they're like, ooh, we're gonna go to a picnic in the park. I think that's a bit too much. But just simply going to the movie or going to an amusement park, I think that's, that's normal. That's, like, something a friend would do. So. I think you're fine. Okay. So, I filled in those kind of triangle shapes. Yeah, I agree. Like going to do going to the music part is not just romantic shit that you can do with your friends. So okay, should I add more? Chat, should I add more? Because I honestly think this looks pretty good. Okay, let's do a poll. Because like I'm at the point where I think it's good where it's at. But I have a few ideas of what I could add more. But I'm indifferent because it's like one of those things where. It might ruin it if I keep going. We're gonna, we're gonna do a quick poll. Should I add more? It might need something at the end. Yeah. Because, like, the only thing I might add... Is see the sections in between these two? It looks kind of empty. But the emptiness looks kind of nice. That's why I'm kind of indifferent. Because I kind of like how there is a lot of, like, white empty space. I don't know. Because, like, it, it looks intentional, right? Hey, chatters, go vote! Motherfuckers, go vote! Stop lurking, go vote. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I'm, like, I'm on the fence. You don't need to add anything crazy, right? Because what I do like about this piece so far that it, it, that it, is that it has a lot of, like, simple strokes in it. Nothing too crazy, no fine detail. Should I add more? Okay, if it's a tie, then I choose. You guys are such little shitheads making it a tie. Okay. So just looking at it, let's see. 
I think the white space that I do have left, it balances out because it looks intentional, right? Like, if we look at it from a distance, that looks cool, right? This looks like it'd be, like, a nice print on a shirt. It looks, okay, from a distance, doesn't it kind of look like snakeskin? A little bit? That's another thing I like about abstract is that you can interpret it however you want. I think right here is good. I think this is good. Let's go to full cam. Whoa, hello. Hi, Jet. There we go. I think that's our final piece for today. How long did we take on it? An hour? Oh my fucking god. Thank you. My lines are kind of messy because I haven't used my liners in a while. Well, let's get some close-ups. There we go. That's our final. Thank you, guys. Um, it does seem pretty simple, right? But anybody who sat here through most of or for all of this art section, you got a bit more insight into my creative process, I guess. But wouldn't this look good as, like, a print on a shirt or something? Like, imagine, imagine you had, like, a tank top and it just had this pattern going down the center. It look, okay, it kind of looks like tie-dye, like this type of pattern from a distance, or like snakeskin. I like this, like, even though the, the design is fairly simple, I think it's still pretty expressive. The, the silhouette is interesting. You see from a distance, see how the center part looks really white still? Because the only thing... Will I do it again tomorrow? Kind of. Um, how the art section works is I'll link it again in chat. You can chatters can once a day use their channel points and we will do an art segment instead of you laugh you lose at the end of every stream. So chatters will decide what days you do art essentially. A set of cars would be cool. Okay. Can I self report a little bit? If Megan ever becomes famous, wouldn't it be cool if we had like an auction or something? Wouldn't that be cool? Because, like, um, we had 20 viewers earlier, Potato. You just weren't here. Eh. <laughs> um, I'm glad you like it, Mocha. I, I think it's nice. It's chill. You get a bit more insight into, I guess, someone's art process. Um, what was I going to say? I think it'd be cool if I'm ever at a point to where, like, people want to buy shit. I think it'd be cool to do, like, an auction or something or sell stuff and, like, donate to charity. I think that'd be a really cool idea. Um, because essentially, I explained it earlier, is I want to try and do a sketch card at least once a week, chatters. So if we could do it once a week, that'd be cool. And then, once we unlock weekly art streams, we can do a fully flashed painting every week. That way, chat can vote which card they want, which card they want to be made into a painting. Um, I think that'd be fun. And then, the canvases I want to use, I want to buy secondhand paintings from, like, thrift shops. And like repurpose it. Um, thank you for taking the time to do this. Yeah, for sure. It's something I like doing. I like doing art. I just haven't done it for a long ass time. And if people will watch, I will keep doing it. Um, what's the goal for weekly art streams? I think it's 200 subs. Because in my head, the reason why it's so high is because one, people have to want art. We had a good turnout today, surprisingly. I had more people here than I anticipated for an art stream, so thank you guys for sticking around. Um, and also, I don't want to add an extra stream day when I'm still this small. Like, I'm still a small streamer, right? It's not going to be worth to do an extra day where people are less likely to show up. That's, like, the reason why. But thank you. I'm glad you like it, stream. <clears throat> yeah, that's our final for today. You know what else it timely... It, if, you know what else it finally is time for? Chatters. It is time for me to run a few minutes of ads because we are. <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. <coughs> we are four hours in the stream, guys. We hit four hours. We haven't done a four-hour stream in the longest time. Um, but we are four hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But you can avoid that ad break by subscribing for just four ninety-nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee today and get ad reviewing all month long, or. If you have an Amazon Prime link into your Twitch account, you get a free Prime sub every day. Every month. Not every day. That'd be crazy. 
Anyway, also, it is the last day of Prime Day, so if we have any Primers in chat, you can get it. There's an exclusive offer to where if you purchase a $100 Twitch gift card, you can get 20% off. Crazy! Oh my god. Imagine spending 80 but you get a $100 value. Crazy. Um, after the ad break, we're going to go ahead and switch gears to thanking subs. So, <clears throat> any Oilers magic? Yeah, any Oilers. So... Anybody new to the stream, anybody who subs, cheers, gifts, or donates, you get your name written in our sub only journal. So after that break, we're gonna continue with that. But thank you guys for sticking around during the art section. I really appreciate it. I'm glad people liked it. Omega lol. Okay, chatters, get some water, get a snack if you need it. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Dude, I'm so tired. It's like my lunchtime. Okay, let's get calligraphy set up. Let's put my nice pens away. <coughs> I am so tired. Oh, wait, I have to sign the card. Okay, any artists in chat, do you put a watermark on your on your work? I don't. I personally don't. So I don't give a shit if it gets stolen. Okay, it's not that I don't care. It's not that I don't care. It's just in my head, people will steal your work if they really want to anyway. Gotta go, no problem. We'll see you next time, Benini. What I do is I put the date and then my initial. My initial is my signature. Because I'm not I'm not gonna put my dead ass my actual signature on my artwork. I don't wanna leak. But yeah. And I did it in pen. Okay. Let's get our sub journal out. We had a lot of orders today. Oh my god, chat went crazy today. Always put watermarks? I know, but I don't like them. To me, they ruin a piece. Like, it's different if- I think- Okay. I think it's warranted to put a watermark on a piece if you're gonna sell it for print. I think that is valid. But for me, I just don't- I- uh, I- It's one of those takes that I know is a bad mega take. I know it's a bad take. I know it's a bad take, but- I don't know. I, I just won't- I won't put watermarks on my work at this time. I might in the future if I ever do sell stuff for print, but at this time, probably not. Stream was fun, much needed. I'm glad you had a good time, Mac. <laughs> okay, so let's start off- wait, we had Chatters use your channel points too, right? Okay, so Chatters, what we're doing now is anybody who subs, cheers, or donates get their name written in the sub-only journal, and we also have a separate journal for channel point redemption. So if you look at the bottom left corner of your chat box, for just a hundred points, I will write your name for free. So we're gonna do those channel point redemption names first. Huh. Okay, so earlier we had one person redeem with their channel points, and that was Mikey. They didn't tell me what color they wanted, so, I think we're gonna do orange for Mikey. Because I think their user was orange. Pink or purple? Okay. We will do pink for you, Miss Mocha. Okay, let's do mochas first since they're in chat and they've been up literally all night. We got Miss Mocha, 199. <laughs> I know it's satisfying seeing your name being written out, yeah? 
That's why I think it's nice to have a free option and then a premium option for the calligraphy. Dealer's choice again? Okay, for sure, pneumonia. After Mikey, we'll do yours, hun. Dude, I love this shade of orange so much. My grandma, she used to have an orange tree. And this was literally the shade of orange that our orange juice would be. Pain in the ass to juice, mind you, but fucking delicious. Because her oranges, they were more sweet than sour. They were so good. We got MJ Mikey. Okay, next we had pneumonia, and then I can do any color. Let's say. I'm always a big fan of this turquoise color. I will never get tired of this color. Just yes, make sure you spell your name right this time, because I think I messed it up <laughs> last time. Still best emotes, thank you. I do agree. I've been told by many people that I have the best emotes, and I think I do. I don't mind if I sound cocky, but I genuinely think they're fucking good. We talked about this yesterday, but people who have Pepe emotes as their sub emotes are fucking brain dead and stupid. Like, why are you wasting an emote slot? Like, really? When you can download those extensions for free? Fucking cringe. Because a thing you will also see with Twitch emotes is that people will buy or commission emotes that look cute. But genuinely, what chatters are going to use them if you can't joke with them? Right? Getting heated? Yeah. This is my controversial but way too based emote take. <clears throat> Okay, we got pneumonia. Okay, we're gonna switch gears to the sub journal now, but chatters can still use your channel points. And I'll write it for free. And so packed with emotion? Yeah, I agree. The piece I do punch packs a punch, doesn't it? <laughs> Any color? Okay, we'll do Shroom. We'll do you real quick. <laughs> but yeah, I, I agree, um, Mocha. Okay, it's cute. Like, that's what I love about- that's what I love and hate about the internet. Like, you are- you can connect to anybody online. Like, yes, there are dangers to it, but I think for the most part it's wholesome. Like, finding people you have similar interests or connected to is really nice. Yeah, this is kind of like an olivey green. But, a big reason why I have the emotes that I do is one, your face? What better branding is that? And also, a lot of my emotes, they're meant to be used for like goofing and gaffing. Like you're supposed to like meme and joke around, right? Because I like meme chatters, therefore my emotes are meme and jokey. Dude, I love this olive green. Okay, we got Shroom. Wait, I didn't change my title, chatters. Nobody told me to change my title. <laughs> Chatters, you didn't tell me. Moderators, why didn't you guys tell me either? Hi, Flash. Welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today. Yeah, I don't think it worked. I didn't get an alert. <laughs> so make sure you edit stream, hun, if you actually did raid. I hope you're doing well today. Okay, we're gonna switch to the sub journal, guys. This is your favorite thing. Aw, you're so cute, Mocha. I'm glad you I think you were here for like the whole stream, yeah? You crazy person staying up all night. I got I'm glad you're here in chat, man. Okay. So we had a lot of Oilers today. That went a little crazy today in Fall Guys. <clears throat> so 
I need to get my gel pen. Don't they? Ah, uh, yeah? Donde está el bolígrafo de Oh, you rated the wrong piece and fuck. Shit, it's okay. You're fine, hon. Maybe next time, but I appreciate the raid. Even though it didn't happen, I appreciate you thinking about me, though. How'd your drink go, Flash? Okay, so first, you had a lot of Oilers. Oh my god. We're gonna do donations first. Dude, rating was actually crazy. She donated what? Like fucking $60? Crazy. Insane. I think that's the most anybody has ever donated. Because I know from my donation link, I have it capped at $10 because I don't want people dropping too much money. Um. <laughs> but she did. I think she did six separate donations. <laughs> she crazy. Her name is so long. I love writing it out, but it's so long. Oh, please tell me it'll fit. Please. Oh, thank God. Barely saved. Oh, really? Uh, I don't know then, Flash. Because I have... I think host alerts are broken on the site. But it's okay. It happens. I I don't think I've ever fucked up a raid, but I got pretty close one time. <laughs> oh, like, you know when you end stream? Or, like, when you raid and you forget to end, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> I think there was a... I think I forgot to end stream for, like, a minute. Thankfully, I wasn't doing anything bad. I was just, like, watching the, the stream that I raided. So it's just me <laughs> sitting there on my computer. But you're fine. Don't worry about it, Flash. And once again, I appreciate the sentiment. Appreciate that you thought about me to raid. Hit me at Rain Indie Games with a $6 dono. Insane. Crazy. Just the killing Connor, and that sounds pretty fun. I don't- I've always wanted to play Detroit Become Human. Is that what it's called, right? But I think I watched too many people play the game on YouTube that I already know what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, we had Mac with a $10 donation, I think. Once again, thank you, Mac, for donating. You guys made me respawn in Fall Guys so many times. You guys are evil. <clears throat> okay, and that's another page done, chatters. This will be posted on Twitter later today. Okay, next. I think that was the donations we have for today. We had a good handful of bits and subs today. Yeah, I think I watched... Who did I watch? If Mark Markiplier played it, then I definitely watched Mark and Jack play it. I think I went I went to both Jack Jacksepticeye and Markiplier's live shows. I remember I was in the back back of the theater for Mark, but I got like I got fifth row seats for Jack's show. And I think I have a poster from Jack's show too. <clears throat> okay, so we had Crystal. I think I'm gonna do red for Crystal. <laughs> Did 
We had Crystal, Titans, Deacon. I'm gonna grab all my pens now. Because they're all different colors. Oh, it might have been Ethan that I watched play then. It was like years ago though, so. Okay, so first sub we had today was Dino Crystal. It was in chat earlier. They gifted a total of two subs to the channel. Let's go. Did the playlist end? Oh, I finished the playlist. Okay, let's start from the top. Hold chatters. There we go. And then two zero. Okay, we had Dino Crystal with two tier one subs to the channel. I kind of want to do flowers again. Got sick of the stars. <clears throat> she said okay. <laughs> okay, you know what actually fucking pisses me off when people text me? And I mean in general, a lot of people do this shit. It's like, I'm very- I overword my messages, meaning I type way too much. And then if I just get a, rep a reply that's like, Okay. I'm like, Okay, dude! Huh? I think it's because I, I like to be very clear and direct whenever I text. Like, I will send paragraphs sometimes, or like too long as sentences. Because I don't want to be misinterpreted, you know? Or like, imagine, this has never happened to me, thank god. But imagine you send this like, long, heartful message, and they reply with like, okay, or lmao. <laughs> It'd be like, Sag. I hope you have a good time with them, Mac. <clears throat> and then you get blocked? Okay, Mac, I think there's a little psycho to block them. It's like, Mac, Mac, come on. Blocking's a bit far. Blocking is a bit far. They probably just don't pick up the social cues, just like we do. <laughs> okay, so we had Titans with a total of 200 bits. Gonna add some flowers. So chatters, gentle reminder, if you want me to write your name, you can sub, cheer, or donate to the channel. Or you can use your channel points and I'll write your name for free. It's on sale, just a hundred points. Bye bye bye, even though it's free. <laughs> <coughs> it's a joke? Okay good, I was like, Mac is self-reporting right now. <laughs> nah, you'll be fine Mac, you'll be fine hun. I mean, as long as they said, yeah, they're down, then they're down. I think you're totally fine, man. 
No need to stress out too much. You're just hanging out. And if you're going to an amusement park, it's gonna be fucking fun, dude. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had to block anybody online. Cause like, nobody has pissed me off. So chatters, don't try me. Just cause I haven't done it before doesn't mean I won't do it. So don't be weird, champ. Ooh, that six came out perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> I mean, chatters, keep in mind, if you get blocked on any social media platform, you get blocked from my channel, too, so just don't even try. <clears throat> oh, this green does not match at all. You can't really see it on cam, but this is like an olive, and then the closest green I have with gels is this kind of like emerald green. I, I, it, it doesn't match, it doesn't match, it's gonna bother me, but you know, it's the closest thing I got. Maybe it would look better if I did like a brown gel pen. I think that would have been better. Damn. Yeah, I agree. Online people can fuck off. They they can kindly take a ban or a block. I don't give a shit. The only people I have blocked that I know IRL are my parents. <laughs> Cause you know. Not that I talk shit, but I just don't want them to see my shit. I mean, I don't block rude people. To me, the reason why they're being rude is because that's just how they respond to negative situations. Okay, we got Deacon with a 500-bit cheer. And finally, guys, one more name left, and then we can finally end stream, because I gotta go eat and buy groceries. <clears throat> yeah, I agree, Mac. Like, I came out to my mom, but not my dad. But I think- I literally think my dad knows. <laughs> um. Because one time, I think my mom was, like, teasing me for not having a, a boyfriend. And she's like, you know, you stay home all the time. You don't go out. You don't do anything. And then, she was like, you know, you don't have a boyfriend or anything. You have no friends. And then my dad was like, oh no, my mom was- she then was like, you know, what are you gonna do when you have a husband one day? Like, you're never gonna- you're never gonna get out of here. You're never gonna have a husband. And then my dad, like, interjected. He was like, you know, she'll have a partner or something. Or she might have a partner. And I was like, oh, dad knows. Dad fucking knows. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. It's funny because my dad, I think my parents are, they're conservative. But they're not far right conservative. Like, they're, they're probably at most um, moderate right. Like, they believe in human rights. But they never voted for Trump or anything. They still vote Republican, though. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, gifted a tier one to the chat room. Crazy. She's my biggest simp, I guess. Uh <laughs> but, dude, I do simp for Emmy, too. I'm gonna be honest. What was I saying? So, like, I think my dad knows. So. I feel like... I don't feel the need to tell him, though, because it's like, I don't... I don't care. <laughs> like, when I told my mom, because she will ask me about social issues, like she was asking about like queer rights and that type of thing. And she was like, how are you so educated in these issues? And I, I was debating whether or not I wanted to tell her. I was like, well, mom, I'm technically a part of the community. And she's like, really? I'm like, yeah, I'm bi. And she's like, oh, okay. And then she kind of sat with it for like 30 minutes and then she came up to me. She's like, well, did you have a threesome? I'm like, bitch, that is like literally the worst, rudest thing you can ask someone who's like bi. That's like, that's such a negative stereotype. And people think bisexual people are just deviants. And it's like, no, we're more than that. Like, we're off, come on. And I kind of went off on her because like, it was honestly like independently at like a fucking lot. Because people think bisexuality is associated with polyamory, but it's not. Anyway, that's a story for another day. Hate <laughs> <Ain't> it here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I do? Lamau <laughs> Mocha, that's actually great. 
<laughs> Dad knows. Fuck. Okay, chatters, that's the last name for now. Unless anybody else wants to redeem with their channel points or donate to the channel. That was our last name for today. So last call, chatters, last call. That's wild, yeah. I went off on her. I explained to her why it was not okay to ask that. <laughs> I know, I literally said, I was like, Mom, that is literally the most offensive and, like, worst fucking shit you can ask. Like, bro. Wait, chatters, I forgot to post a TikTok. Oopsie, nobody reminded me. Sag. Yeah, they are rude questions. It's like, you're... You're essentially boiling down an identity to just... The act. It's like, no, it's a lot more than that. Yeah, I'm posting the TikTok right now, chatters! I'm posting it right now! <laughs> uh, <laughs> the chatters. Chatters, if you aren't following me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok. I am incredibly close to 3k, so you should go follow. Let's go back to full cam. Hi, chat. Okay, chatters. Thank you for sticking around today. Today was a fucking long ass stream. Oh my god, I am tired. I'm gonna. I was supposed to leave to go grocery shopping at three, but now I'm late. I mean, it's fine. I won't be late. I get to walk there anyway. Anyway, chatters, I put that TikTok is up. Go like, go comment. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, Fall Guys was crazy. We didn't get a win, but I fully blame chat. I definitely would have had a win if nobody donated. But you know, I made it- I got a bag today. So once again, thank you to anybody who gifted, donated, or cheered to the channel today. I- I got a fucking big bag today, so thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, what am I gonna buy? Because I like- I like to be transparent with what I buy with the donations I get, but I honestly- I'm not saving up for anything. Okay, we'll save for a camera. We'll save for a DSLR. That's what our next goal for today. Yeah, we're gonna raid today. We are gonna raid today. Dude, I... I'm not gonna say it. I love my eyebrows. I love them. Okay, anyway. So, chatters, before I head out, if you aren't following my social media accounts, I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Please go follow them. Um, if you aren't already, go follow my Twitter. You'll see funny ha tweets sometimes. But yeah, go check it out, Shatters. Um, I think that's all I got for today. We will be live again tomorrow with Bowser's Fury and then Animal Crossing. So, Shatters, if you like the sketch card part of stream, make sure to save your channel points and we can do it every stream if a Shatter redeems it. So, yay, I'm glad people liked it. Um, like I said, we are going to raid out today to friend of the show, QT Lee. She's playing Disco Elysium. It's her first time playing, so nobody spoil. Don't be cringe. Okay, uh, let's make a man. So, just a reminder, I only read out to people I know, so please be nice in there, chat room. <clears throat> and if you are a sub, our raid message is going to be peace I2 spin. Peace raid, peace I2 spin. If you are a non sub, go ahead and copy paste this message. Just type in their chat room, peace raid. So, Kitty Lee is a friend of the show. Be nice to her. I will be, I, I actually can't be in her chat long today because I gotta go do shit. So, chatters, thank you guys for. Being in stream today. I'm glad people liked the art segment. I was really self-conscious about it. I thought people would like it, but I'm glad people stuck around and watched and enjoyed the art segment. So thank you guys. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and start that raid. Are you guys ready? Oh, I spelled her name wrong. Lamel. Okay. The raid has started. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope everyone has... A great rest of your day. Chatter, stick around for the raid. You get channel points if you join the raid. <laughs> you get 200 points if you stick around for the raid. So, Chatter, stay in the raid. Stay in the raid. Stay in the raid. Okay. Bye. Bye.